away So come on lady go Awesome, man. Oh, I'm so sweaty. Yeah, I know, so right? It's going to be a long day, man. What's your name? Joshua. Jameson. Jameson, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah. <clears throat> so you out here uh, regularly? Yeah, unfortunately. <clears throat> well, fortunately. <laughs> fortunately. Take it, take it for what it's worth, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hard, hard to pay my bill. Yeah, right? I, uh, I was here on Monday night. I don't know if you know... Uh, oh. Were you here on Monday night? It's like here on Monday. Day before. Yeah, I was. Okay. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it was, that was good money that night. Hey, right on, man. A lot of people went to the game. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah. So what's what's your what's the deal? What what's, what's up with all? Uh, well, yeah, actually, I got a, a YouTube channel myself. It's called Authentic oh, that's awesome. Intent. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. I uh, go around the Minneapolis area telling people that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. That's crazy. I'd love for you to check it out sometime and just, uh, you know, venture into I got a handful of various other, you know, topics. Like, even that guy you can just check out. He does uh, kind of a variety of, uh, like, NASA um, fakery stuff. Figured I'd come out here for another baseball game because I had some excellent... Traffic. Yeah, it's good, yeah. good traffic and whatnot, so... Yeah, and if you got a, a, a favorite song or something, I, I'd love to just have my YouTubers... Favorite song. Yeah, your favorite uh, original song you got. An original? Yes. Oh, goodness. Um, Do you have a, uh, a... Is this your website and everything? Yeah, that is. Okay. Website. Here's this guy. Do you have a YouTube channel at all? I do, but I don't put a ton of original stuff on there. I'm trying to think of... I, I, haven't, I don't keep up with it. Honestly. No? Okay. I don't really have time. You got a, do you have a couple of, uh, I, I saw you got the covers and stuff like that, but uh, I got a couple of originals, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're pretty old. <laughs> sure, yeah, I mean, uh, we would love to hear your original stuff, though, that'd be... You don't have to stay here for anything. No, I do. Time. No, I do. I, I want to stay here for your song, and I'm going to be here till the game's over. So, right. yeah. I. It's called uh, Not Like We Are. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
missing your love today Stranded on the road for you Ran away Hidden in the shadows you left Right now it's all It was cold, it was starving On the side of the street Left out alone so it cuddled to me If you leave here, leave here for good If you're gone, stay gone like you should If you were please, right as I was on Jameson, I really appreciate the time and it was a Thanks real pleasure me, listening man. to your music, man. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. You. So. I'll look you up and uh, check you out. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Have a nice rest of your yeah, afternoon. You Stay cool. Hydrated. Yeah, I'll try. See ya. <clears throat> All right. What do you think, folks? That was a great way to start the episode off. I am Joshua, and this is. Authentic in 10. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at the Minnesota Twins game. They're ending a series against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I think that's their correct name. Good to see everybody. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. David, Plain James. Tyne. I saw Cat's Eyes. She was the first one in here. first one to comment so we're gonna hit up this guy here he's playing a little uh, music I'm doing well doing well thank you Gurton good to see you Shay
Hey, hey, all right, man. I'm Joshua. Um, William. William, yeah. good to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, right on, man. You uh, you out here very often? Uh, just only when twin, twins play. Twins play? Yeah. Okay, right on. Do you got uh, like an original song or a favorite song you'd like to jam out? I'm live on YouTube right now. No, no. Really. Nothing, nothing no. special, no? <laughs> Well, I appreciate you uh, playing, William. I do. I am out here for the Twins game also to let people know the Earth is flat, yeah. motionless plane, and not a ball like we were taught in school. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I don't know. I ain't never been out in space to look at it, so uh, I can't tell you. Hey, me neither, man. I ain't been, I ain't been far enough to fall off the edge, so I still can't tell you on that aspect No? Okay. Well, I do have a YouTube. Do you ever get on YouTube? No. No? Okay. Well, if you ever do get a chance, I'll just share it with you. And, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth, man. All right. Stay cool out here, William. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. Yeah, really well, you know, but uh, <laughs> we'll see you around, man. Have a good one. Cool and hard. Dude. Hey, right on, man. <laughs> see you around. All right, take care. All right, all right, all right. So, we are back for the final game of a three-game series with the Minnesota Twins hosting the LA Angels. We're back here at gate three. We are live on location. We do not have a script and I do not know who I'm going to talk to, if anybody. I figured the music was a good beginning because you probably don't want to hear me talk a whole lot, right? You want to hear conversations. So good to see you, Drew. Hey, Carly, thanks a lot for stopping by for a bit. Shanna is in the house also, copacetic. Good to see you, how you doing? Good. People funneling slowly into the game. They threw first pitch about five minutes ago. We're just hanging out here right now, getting a feel for the area. We're gonna be here for a while, of course, for the duration of the game. I apologize for the end of the last Twins game we were at on Monday night. I went to the wrong side for fireworks and the connection issue got to be a little choppier than usual. I think it was because all the people came out of the stadium with their cell phones so they were taking up all my data. And so we're just letting people know that uh, satellites don't exist. Those two people are talking about it. How you doing? He doesn't want to say hi. You'd think that he'd be more friendlier, right? With glasses and looking like he was a scientist. Maybe he's offended, I don't know. So I don't know if there are fireworks at the end of the day, but I will pick a better spot this time around. And hopefully downgrading my Upload speed from 1080 to 720 will help also. Hey Shay, cheers to you. There is a Starbucks nearby. Speaking of cheers, I'm gonna get a coffee. Guy wants to dialogue with me. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I can't complain, Frank. How about yourself? Good. What, what is it you're doing on here? Oh, we're just uh, doing a little PSA for the folks at the stadium to let them know that not only do satellites not exist, but we have never been to the moon, uh, yeah. and outer space is not real. No. Yeah. Really yeah. The only thing is, is they won't let you do any kind of protesting on twin property. Oh, I'm not protesting. Well, whatever you're doing. I was here on Monday night and I didn't have an issue. You've got an issue now. Oh, okay. And you want me, I'll break the cop down and you'll have an issue. Sure. But all I'm asking you to do is, you can do what you're doing, but just be across on the street. We can't okay, we can't so on this trip. this whole line here across and around the corner is... No, we, we want you out here. Okay. Uh, no big deal. And I may be wrong. You may be able to be standing on the side, but I know still with protesters. Now, we don't mess with... Well, I'm not protesting. What am I protesting, sir? I don't know sir? what you're doing. The peddlers. You're not. Well, I'm not peddling either. Yeah. Scalpers. Oh, they sure. Can, they can be on that thing, so 
Scalpers can be here? You can, you want to hang a second and I'll check it out. I'll yeah, I'd love to just uh, walk around, man. I don't want to cause any issues, but I'd love to hang out. I'm just hanging out, man. This guy had a problem. I'm going to go dialogue with him. So you don't agree with my signage? I, uh, I, I, just, I hope you're not filming me because I do not want to be on film. Okay, well this... And this you don't have the right to film Well, me. this is in Minnesota, and Minnesota Statute 66, I can openly broadcast. Okay, I don't want to be on film. I'm, okay. I'm asking you not to sure. film me, please. Okay, okay sure, so Joe. Like Joe, do you, do you find my uh, picture offensive that uh, outer space is not real and we've never been to the moon? Poor Joe. I hope Joe wakes up. So let's, uh, poor Joe. All right, well, let's, uh, let's keep walking. I'm going to get a Starbucks anyways. I was going to go get coffee. And if we have to leave, then I'll just go to one of the local parks in the area. That's what we're going to get, folks. People don't agree with satellites not existing. They don't like it. Oh. We're out. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. He said everything's good to go. So I'm just going to walk around and act like I own the place. And my last name is Target. <coughs> Frank said I was okay. I'll just tell him that, right? And I'll stomp my feet and have a tenter tantrum if I need to and say, Frank said it's okay that I'm here. If I had a sign that says, I love baseball, I worship it, Joe Maurer is Jesus Christ, and the Minnesota Twins are the best ever, do you think I'd have a problem? Hmm. All right, so... That's right. Tell them Frank sent me. <laughs> so, all right. So a little bit of friction at the beginning, but we'll see how the rest of the night goes. Thanks, everybody. Good to see everybody in this in the chat room. Hey, not a problem. Overthought. Thanks. Yeah, if you guys want uh, a wrench, send me uh, an email with your YouTube channel. My email is full battery obsessed at gmail.com everybody likes a full battery on their cell phone hey so we were hey that was pretty good that was a hard reset I had to go to airplane mode and reset at 21 minutes in so yeah if you just and uh, I'll run it through my secretary and uh, I'll have a dialogue with him or her, and I don't have a secretary, so that's the joke. All right, and we're back. Yeah, we're gonna, we might have some connection issues, but I did uh, lower the upload speed, so we should be, should be fairly good, right? Coffee and donuts. Yep, we're getting some coffee at the Starbucks down here. I'm gonna get a coffee cooler. And we got the Twins playing right up above Baltimore. Okay, so we're hosting Baltimore. My fault. I apologize. Baltimore's up 2-0. to zero. It is the bottom of the first. So. Figured I would go down here to Starbucks and get a coffee cooler and hang out a little bit. I need to stay hydrated. It is 34 degrees. It's pretty hot. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a caribou. I don't know. I don't know if uh, if this meets the requirements to get a free coffee because it is a caribou. But we'll see if IPS is it a isn't gonna bother, isn't gonna mine, right? We'll just put her 
go in here. Hey, how are you today? I'm good, I am great, thanks. Yes. So you got the twenty five percent off of any beans and then free medium coffee with a pound of beans and that expires in a day. Okay. So no real perk other than beans. Yeah. Bummer you. Alright, could I get a, a a large blended dark chocolate? Dark chocolate what? Uh coffee. Cooler? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, your total is 564. Alright. And the name is uh, Flat Earth. What do you mean? To pick it up, you'll call my name as Flat Earth. How do you spell that? F L A T Earth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it Maya? Well, yeah. Okay. Has, has it ever crossed your mind that the earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school? I don't really care about it. You don't care about where you live and, like, your home? <laughs> Come on, Maya. Like, let's be real. I mean, you put a lot of time into your hair, right? Yeah. So, could you do me a favor? A huge favor? That's my YouTube channel. Whenever you feel you have time, doesn't have to be today or tomorrow, but I do these live conversations out on the street mm -hmm. and I dialogue about the earth being flat and not a ball like we were taught in school. Okay. Yeah, so, and I have some links in the description. Check them out, you know. Yeah. It's a fascinating topic. It's the most controversial topic on the internet right now. Really? If you're, yeah, if you're not talking about flat earth, you're really not talking about anything that matters. Do you know when the road is going to end? Like, what do you mean? Like, when we gonna be like... <clears throat> I don't know, I just feel like the road's gonna like, end soon. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think that <clears throat> it might have to do with the fact that... Uh, we might have disclosure about the Earth being flat? No, and not a ball? No, it's just the way we do stuff. That's yeah? What, I think it's just the way we do stuff. Like, I don't know. Like what? What do we do? Could you give me an example? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah? Okay, well, I, I, I'll give you an example. Yeah. What do you think about vaccines? Like the gas stuff? When you go get a flu shot. Oh, I don't get flu shots. Hey, amen. Right on. I don't well, trust them. I don't either. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, if I had a kid and it was a newborn, I would refuse a f vaccines. Yeah. Yeah. And also, in addition to that, what do you think about, like, chemtrails? So there are, um, actually I have some information right here. I'm loaded with so much stuff to wake up the public about various things. Are you from here? I am, yeah. I live in Minnesota. I live in Minnetonka area. Dang. Yeah. Do you live around the area? Yes, I live down the street. Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't have anything. Oh, there it is. Look at this. You are, you're so busy. You got a lot of homework this summer. Hey, maybe, yeah, hey, you know, this might be information that could lead you down the path to find out why the earth is going in the toilet. Yeah, we just don't take care of it. No, we don't. Yeah. No. Do you think that that would change if people realized that we kind of lived in an enclosed system and not a ball in outer space? And got rid of the whole idea of evolution? You don't think we live in, like, space? No. What about, like, the other Earth that they had discovered? That's a massive deception, and they're lying to you and me. You cannot, we cannot travel to outer space. I think we can. You think so? I want to. What do you think the Earth looks like from space? The way it is on pictures. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, kind of like, I don't know, 
Uh, like this picture here? Yeah. Yeah? Do me a favor, not a huge, I mean, it's a 50-50, right? These are official pictures from NASA. Mm -hmm. Which two of these do you think best represents the size of America? It's the same thing. No, look a little bit closer. Because it's all the water. All the water? Okay. But why is this picture have America bigger than this America? But they're the same size in diameter. But this, but the balls are the same size in diameter. Uh, I don't know. Because they photoshopped it. They, they did it. Photoshop it. Right. These are both made on a computer. They're not real. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know you're working, but I just that's that's kind of what I do. These are fake pictures. So then, what is this? That's not where we live. Then what is this? I don't know what it is, but that's just a picture created on a computer that's not real. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I know, hey, yeah. take it for what it's worth. It's my opinion, right? Until right. you investigate it yourself. Mm -hmm. But I do do this often, and this is my passion, to let that's people good. know yeah. that we're being lied to about where we live. And ever since we were children, we've been taught we live on a ball in outer space, right? Mm -hmm. But we've never been to the moon. Yeah. So. So is the moon real? Or it is real, but it is just the light in the sky. It's not a physical object that can be landed on. Why? So what about the dude that landed up on a moon? Yeah, he, he's a liar. Yeah. He's a liar. Uh, hey. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of, I'm, I'm just saying, that's why I'm here. I'm lying to a lot of people then, and I don't take well, that you, very lightly. How do you figure out this stuff out? Just research, community. I'll be with y'all in a second. I'm but, sorry. you know, investigate on your own time, okay? Right. And message me on YouTube a couple months from now and let me know what you think. Because okay. it's gonna, it's not going to be overnight. It's going to take you a while to, <laughs> to strip away the ball idea, okay? So, all right, Maya. Yeah, nice, yeah, to, nice to meet you too. Thanks for the knowledge. Hey, thanks for listening. Yeah. Right. All right, we are in Caribou Coffee. Thanks, everybody. All right, I gotta set you up. I'm gonna put you down for a second. So, did we get a free coffee? I don't know. I'll see if, I, if that passes the IPS test, right? Okay, so, I figured we would get a, I figured I'd get a coffee though. I hung out with my friend earlier today and things just didn't pan out the way that I had hoped. Uh, so his, thanks man, appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry man. Could you just grab the whipped cream off of there please? I'm, I forgot to say something about it. It's my fault. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, man. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. All right. So we got some coffee. We got our signage here. We're so ready for a, an eventful night, huh? Might have to go to the bathroom later. <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll hang out for a bit first. All right, guys. Well, we're back at the Twins game. I figured that this would be a good spot to go, since I was already in the downtown Minneapolis area and I was traveling from St. Paul to Minneapolis. And I don't think I'm going to go to a Twins game this week, and I got some other, other events to go to. There's a lot of block parties and a lot of uh, outdoor events on public property. Uh, I wanted to also give you guys an update. I have had two privacy strikes against me. 
and I passed my first privacy issue. YouTube deemed that I was not violating their rules of privacy. And then the next day, I got another privacy uh, thing. And so, I just sent the same information back. And now we'll see what happens with that. So I've already gotten two privacy things of people complaining that they're on camera on public property. So, not really a surprise, I guess, but we're... Okay, hey, Jamie. Thanks, man, for hanging out here for a little bit. Overthought. Good to see you. I just got some coffee so I could hydrate myself a little bit. I'm going to stand here for a minute. Just hold my signage. How you doing? Good. Say, do you think uh, we landed on the moon, sir? Do you think that we landed on the moon? Yeah. You do? Yeah. What kind of evidence could you provide me that we did land on the moon? I don't have any other than what I, what I heard. Did you see the moon landing? Yeah. On TV? Yeah. Did you know that they had three or four cameras used to filter out? Because NASA didn't want it filmed live. So what happened is, is a camera was on a television, and then a camera was on that television, and then a camera was on that television. And then that's how you were shown the moon landing. Wow. Yeah, so they they didn't want to have you see the truth of what was going on. Really? Yes, really, sir. Yep. Wow. Okay, thanks. All right, man. Yep, the moon is not a physical object to be landed on. But he knows now, right? But he knows now. So it's a, a nice warm day here today. Not trying to cause a ruckus, but uh, we are uh, infecting people's minds with the truth about where we live. Yeah, not even Freemasons can land on the moon, right? That's the one thing they can't get to. They don't own that, right? So, I left my coffee behind me, so hopefully nobody grabs it. There are a lot of uh, homeless people that do hang out in this area. I think this is public property, because there's a lot of homeless people hanging out over there on the benches. And I don't think, uh, I think they would kick those people Actually, I would probably be kicked out before those people, to be honest with you. What do you think? How you doing, fellas? How you doing? Hey, I can't complain, thanks. Satellites don't exist. Yep. Everything that you get of outer space is CGI or Photoshopped. It's not real. Huh? I'm sorry? Did you want... Yeah, did you... You can, you can go to my YouTube channel and we can dialogue about it. So next time, you, if you want to threaten me, I mean, I can at least give you my YouTube channel and direct you to the right department. Have my secretary talk to you. And what is he looking at? What was he pointing at? I don't know, I'm confused. Did you guys see him point up? I've seen Pluto on TV. Right? And if you're new to the game, please research Flat Earth and the idea of outer space not being real and Pluto's face is actually on the planet Pluto. So, figure that out. Hey, Tim's for All is in the house. Thanks for sticking around a bit we're gonna be here for the duration of the game Minnesota is losing it's the top of the third right now Baltimore 2 Minnesota Twins nil <laughs> got a lot of traffic coming through here got people coming up from the staircase there and I got the train station right here 
Yeah, right? It's up there somewhere. So whenever those guys want to come back over and we can dialogue, that would be great. Ta-da! And we're back. I really, I'm actually not as intimidated to use the light rail as I was before. I've ridden it on a couple times. And I think it goes to my Minnesota State Fair. The Minnesota State Fair is one of the biggest state fairs in the country next to the Texas State Fair. I will definitely be hitting that up, but that is a ways away. That's uh, the end of August. And I will definitely be going there with my signage. And there are thousands of people to talk to. So we'll be going there. This weekend we got a couple of events going on locally with outdoor bands playing, barbecues, a lot of pig being sold. A lot of pigs going to be sold over there, so we're going to do that. I might introduce you to my mother. Her and I are going to hang out on Saturday, I think, after I get off work. I do work this weekend at 6.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., but afterwards I will be hitting the streets because that's what I want to do. Shay Smith is in the house. Thank you. Leslie, how you doing? And DJ Wednesday. Chris, thanks for your comment. I appreciate it. You guys' comments really encourage me to come out here. Um, I do enjoy coming out here. Um, actually, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna walk down that way and see what kind of action is there. Hey, Days. Good to see you. So let's go. Let's take a lap around Target Field just to get a feel kind of set my presence in the area let everybody know that I'm here Nicholas thanks welcome back good to see you this a earlier this afternoon hey Lee you're the best you make this all possible guys you're the reason why I'm out here so we'll just keep walking up here Hey, I don't hate you, Leslie. I'm glad to see you here today, spending your day on a Thursday night, July 6, on this beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> yeah, plain, you just, you got to show compassion for them. You got to be a little lenient. Give them patience. Um, you know, some people are just better when you kind of nudge them awake, but definitely some people you got to discern and throw cold water on them when they're sleeping, right? So <coughs> you got to treat each individual person as an individual case. You can't treat everybody the same. How's it going, man? Hey, can't complain. Hey, got a question for you. I mean, I figured since you're having such an, a blast here, figured I'd uh, I'd bring in this comment here or the statement and just see what you think. Satellites don't exist. What do you think about that comment? As far as like, a, like, do you think that they you, exist? And are, like, are they orbiting? Yeah. Yeah? Do you have any proof? No. No, just kind of what you heard? Yeah. Yeah, whatnot? Okay. That makes sense, too. I, I thought the same thing until I looked at one of these pictures. Does that look like an authentic, real picture of a satellite in outer space? No. 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 And if you Google image satellites in space, That's all you get are... Yeah, this is all you get our CGI images. This just happens to be the best one that I could find that I wanted to display to the public and let them know. So, whenever anybody says to me, well, how does your phone work? Doesn't Isn't there GPS, right? That's ground positioning systems. And my phone is actually communicating with the ground tower, not a satellite. And yeah, so, and so what do you think about outer space? Never been there. Never been there, neither have I, right? 
Yeah, so do you trust the people that have said that they have been there before? Not really. No? No. But do you believe that we live on a spinning ball in outer space? Somewhat. Somewhat? Kind of? Yeah? What if I was to show you a picture that looks like these here? And if you just want to point out which one of those two pictures is the best representation of America. The best representation of America? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because they're both official NASA photos. So, I mean, it shouldn't really be that hard. Okay, the one on the right. Okay, sure. Why, why is this one uh, more of an authentic picture? Well, I would say to the left because the world is ma uh, mainly produced of water. Okay. Should like 70, 80%? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Both of these pictures are actually CGI photoshopped on a computer. I wouldn't be surprised either. <laughs> yeah, right? So that means that they're not real. And so if you, if if you kind of like use your critical thinking skills, that would mean that we don't really actually know where we live if all the pictures of outer space are fake. I can believe that. Yeah. I mean, it's a thought, right? I mean, oh, yeah. it's kind of provocative, right? To, to think that we don't live on a ball in outer space. So if we don't live on a ball in outer space, what, what do you think that we live on then? What could be a conclusion maybe you come to? Not sure. Not sure. What about a flat, motionless plane? If the Earth is mostly water, what do you think that water curves? If the Earth is mostly water, do you think that it could form a ball? Not necessarily. No. no. It's free flowing. It can't form. Yeah, it always finds its level, right? Okay. And so, when you look at an ocean, have you ever been to the ocean? No. No, you haven't. Oh, you gotta check it out sometime. I man. plan on going on a cruise. Hopefully. You so. do. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Hey, if you go on a cruise, you might find out that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught. Because what happens is because of perspective, the ground meets the sky. And that's why a lot of people feel like the earth is a ball, is because they feel like when they see a ship go over the quote horizon, that means it's going over the curve. But actually all you need to do is just get a binoculars or a telescope and focus that object back in, and you can see it again. And then as it disappears again, if you get another powerful telescope, you can zoom it back in again. And, yeah. And some people have been able to see a mountain top, like a mountain range, for over 200 miles. And the curvature on that is about 18,000 feet or so. So we shouldn't be able to see mountain ranges from 247 miles away. Yeah, that's that's a lot, and that's a that's a pretty clear sky too, right? Yeah. You know. And so because of atmosphere and whatnot, that's why our eyes aren't able to see a lot of stuff and why telescopes can't see as far. But I just encourage you to check out some information. you ever do on YouTube? Uh, not much. Not much? Well, if you ever do get a chance, uh, check it out. I do have a YouTube channel and I do these street interviews talking about the earth being flat and not a ball like we were taught in school. Yeah. What do you think about that, man? I think uh, the earth is flat. You do? Protected by the like a dome. A dome, a firmament. Firmament. Hey, there you go, man. Right on. What's your name? Joseph. Joseph. You guys got to have a little dialogue sometime. Yeah. The earth is flat. I'm sorry? The earth is flat? Yeah, the earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught. It's a giant ball. No. It is? Yeah. The earth is flat. How, could no, you... Don't give him any sort of interview. We can't make comments in uniform. Oh. <laughs> All right, Joseph. All right, guys. Well, I, I do have a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. It's called Authentic Intent. Get informed. Outer space is fake. So, hey, man. Well, I appreciate your time. Uh, the establishment is on to me, and they don't like this kind of a dialogue. So, But I do encourage you to investigate on your own time when you do have a free chance, and I appreciate your time, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. He comes by and says, you're not allowed to dialogue and give opinions in uniform. Hopefully they don't lose their job. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, Randy. Good comment, right? Yep, Joseph is canned. Well, if he needs another job, he can hang on to my camera for me, right? <laughs> Did you see that guy, too, in those shades? Those I'm a cop shades? 
He says, what is this shit? That's, that was his first thing that he said. I thought you couldn't comment on what I'm doing, right? But he can say that, but his co-workers can't say what they said, right? <laughs> All right, so that was fun. That was fun. Hey, we got in what we needed to get in and uh, gave Joseph some confidence, right? Knowing that the earth is flat and I just reassured him of such an idea. Thanks, DJ. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> he says, what is this shit? Hey, we're not supposed to comment. Well, you just did, dude. You just told me that. Right? But that's what you get from the establishment. He wants to be part of the establishment. You know, he walked around, big man on campus, right? Big man on campus. Hey, I know you guys can't comment, but uh, Joseph knows what's up. And I got a YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, so we'll go from there, and uh, and I'll see you around. I come out here pretty often. Okay. So, yeah. Take it easy. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Uh, I discussed openly with the public the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. Right, I know that much. Yeah. Satellites don't exist. Satellite, outer space doesn't exist. Are you serious? Yeah. How do you know that? We may or may not live in a dome-like structure. Right. Yeah. So what's Area 51 then? What are they doing over there? Uh, they're just creating, uh, you know, military-type vehicles so and whatnot. What, uh, they do the alien experiments on? What's there there are no aliens. Uh, no. Yeah, it is a lie. Yeah, they did. See, what the establishment is about 30 to 50 years ahead of us in terms of technology. So if they show up with, quote, any gravity devices and whatnot, they already existed. They're just promoting themselves as gods. Yeah. So all the touch screens that we have, all this cool technology that we have now, it already had existed. I heard that from somebody not even a week ago, bro. Yeah, it's for real. for real. Yeah. Man. All right, y'all. Stay warm out here, right? Yeah. <laughs> See you later. You. Oh, actually, I gotta go get. I drop my coffee off over here, so I gotta walk. I gotta walk back, and I'll see you in a minute. All right. <laughs> so I forgot my coffee when I was talking to the two gentlemen earlier. Good. Good stuff. Thanks again, everybody. We're having some good conversations already. This is awesome. Really excited to be here. Really excited to... Uh... <laughs> I've already... It, it. Well, it appears I already got four security officers on the, to help me out, right? So I got the four to help me against those two Nazis that walked around and started pushing me around, right? So I think those four could take those two guys, right? Glasses. <clears throat> yeah, so we got four against two so far. In terms of, oh yeah, then we got Joe from earlier who tried to get me shut down. And then Frank sent me, so. Frank sent me. <laughs> yeah, you missed Joe. He tried to shut me down earlier today. Probably about, what, 20 minutes in? Forgot my coffee, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I see you. <laughs> you knew I was coming back, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it's the only thing to have around here, man. Oof. Uh, yeah. So it's about 90 degrees here, with the sun traveling further and further away from Minnesota. If you're new here, I appreciate Thanks for stopping by. If you have not investigated the idea of the sun and the moon being a local light in the sky, 
check that out. There are some great videos out there. We're not 100% on a model right now, but I am confident that the Earth is a motionless plane and not a spinning wet ball rocket hurtling miles through space. Terrifyingly coming in and out of the asteroid belt and whatnot, all these other fear-mongering ideas. Give me a break. Outer space is not real. Let's see if we can find Sam. If you were here on Monday night, we had a dialogue with 21 frets. Sam Smith, he was playing, uh, he was ripping it up on his guitar earlier, so we'll see if we can have a conversation with him. His YouTube channel is YouTube 21 Frets, F R E T T S. Sub to his channel if you would like. He's got all original content. And on the first song that he did sing, it had the words Flat Earth in it. So that was pretty cool. Check out the chat room here. Space ain't empty. Geocentric Earth. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Finishing up my coffee here, and then I'll have a... Uh-oh. Sounds like good things are happening for the twins. This guy has a... That guy walking right there has a Minnesota Twins hat and an Orioles baseball shirt on. He can't quite make up his mind. His head is on the Twins, but his heart is Baltimore, right? Uh, so... I'm going to try to get this coffee in me, because we're going to be here for a while. All right. We are right now live at the Minnesota Twins game. Twins are hosting the Baltimore Orioles. Twins just tied it up two to two. Good for them. Now everybody will be happy and want to talk to me. <coughs> All right, who else is in the chat? Let me see. Flat Stuff Earth is in the house. Flat enough. Hey, Flat Trotter, good to see ya. Vinca is in the house. 3713, good to see ya, Steve. Come alive. Road FM. Robert. DJ. Flat enough. Let's rally time for the Twins. Everybody stand up right in front of your computer screen and freak out. So here's where we're at right now. That's the Twins. Twin Stadium right there. Mick West is a fraud and everybody knows it. I think he even knows it, which is even worse. Uh-oh. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy for the Minnesota Twins. I think they just took the lead. Good for them. 
good good for them all right so we're gonna just uh, kind of plant our feet around the stadium get familiar with it because we got a lot of people to talk to today I think the twins just took the lead he needs tickets hey my man how you doing no, he doesn't want to talk to him. I guess he uh, got his tickets, right? It was funny that the security guard from earlier told me that people scalping tickets could be on property, but I couldn't be. <laughs> How does that even make any sense? Twins win, by, leading by three, five to two. Good for them. See what else is going on over here on the corner. Flat Earth Court is in the house. Isa, good to see you. Thank you for your time. Hit that like button if you haven't already, folks. Or the or the down button, you know, whatever. They all count. Controversy, right? Get a 50-50 swing of ups and downs. People wonder why this video is, has such a awkward following. You got some people down here, maybe you can see. No, let's keep walking. So we've already talked to about a dozen people. Let me just talk to this guy here. See what's happening. How you doing, man? Good. Just got a uh, got a question for you. What do you think about the uh, moon landing? When? Back in the '60s? Yeah. Thought it was great. You thought it was great? Uh, like it was historical. Historical moment and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We were the first people, well, the United States were the first country to land on the moon, but Russia was the first country to send a spaceship in the space. They already didn't go to the moon, but they sent a monkey up in the spaceship, Russia did. And they know, you know, when it's all black up there, right? Okay. So, Russia thought it was just, they, you know what I mean, just all black, wasn't really, why go any further, right? Okay. But America is the one that landed on the moon. I think it was Neil Armstrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three of them. Right, I just remember, you know, Neil Armstrong got most of the all the publicity. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And uh, have, did you see the interview that all three of them did shortly after when they returned? No, I don't even think I was born. No? I was born in 69. Okay, you were born in 69. Um, they did an interview shortly after they landed on the moon, uh -huh. and they all looked like deer in headlights. Yeah, they didn't look like they were really telling the truth, to be honest with you. You know, some people say it was a hoax because that you, if you, they say when they was walking across the uh, moon, right, wasn't no dust. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like it was staged and stuff. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I got my own conclusion. You know, stuff just like uh, that UFO in New Mexico. Area 51, Roswell. Yeah, yeah. Roswell and them. You know what I mean? It's a lot of, you know, and... And the flag just stood still. You know what I mean? It didn't move. It didn't wave. It just. The, the, you sure the flag didn't wave? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I, I, I think back. it did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. What, what else? What else evidence I have? Let me think about it. Sure. Yeah, I got. I, I got all time, man. Uh, okay, I said it didn't need no footprints, right? Who, who took a picture of them landing that on the moon? Know. I guess one of the three astronauts. Yeah, well, how do they, how are they, how was Neil the first one to be on the moon when there was already a camera on the moon? I didn't know that. Yeah. That's just weird. It depends on, it, you know what it, it is, it depends on what history book you have. <laughs> well, uh, they do write the history books. Yeah, I don't have anything to do with history. that. Yeah, it's all kinds of history books. Yeah. You know, the winner is always... than others, you get different 
uh, history book. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Because some history books just give you, you know, what I told you about, and then some history books give you what you know about. And then sometimes I also dig deeper and find out on my own. You know what I mean? Or I watch Discovery or the History Channel, stuff like that. Yeah. And learn more about stuff. Yeah, that's what I like. To okay. Do. do you have access to the internet anywhere? No. I just go to the library, but uh, I got to get my library card back. My yeah, get your library card back up. I got a YouTube channel. You should uh, go in there, check it out. I got a you know a couple bucks here for you. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I, I go out and I uh, advocate mm -hmm. for the Earth being a motionless, flat plane and not a ball like we're taught. Like, right. See, I was taught that Pluto was a planet. Yeah. Now they're saying it's a big rock. Yeah, did you know that the face of the dog Pluto is actually in the planet Pluto? No, did you know, know that? I, uh, all this study came up when I was an adult and I don't study like I used to. Okay. It's something to investigate. Do you think that it is a little odd to name a planet Pluto and then put the dog Pluto on yeah. the planet? That is kind of kind of weird, huh? Kind of like I, when I like when, I don't like when people turn uh, you know God name around and say it's dog. Yeah. I don't like when they do that. Yeah, that's in, that's inappropriate for sure. Yeah. That's blasphemy for sure. Yeah, yep. I don't like that. Yeah, but has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught? Yeah, I think it is flat. Hey, you're a smarter man than most. Yeah, at least you have an open mind, mm -hmm. you know. I do. Never stop learning. Right. What's your name? Uh, Brandy, you got to be, oh, let me use my right. Yeah, sure. Uh, you got to be careful what you hear and learn because, uh, uh, technically the devil hey, wants you to, you know me. Like I went time watching the History Channel and they tried to, you know how they say Moses spread it to, uh, uh, yeah, Niles yeah. River, Turkey River, whatever, right? Yeah. So, there was some scientists today trying to say, some kind of red clay from the bottom of the river erupted and turned the river red. Yeah. I don't believe that garbage. No. <laughs> yeah, that I don't either. That's me trying to trick me. Yep. You can't trick me. No, you, yeah, well, you're you're a smart I'm man. I'm if a man tell me that's what he believed, that's what he believed, though, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? If we arguing about it, I drop it. Yeah. But if you see my point of view right there, now I keep explaining it. But if you don't get it, I let him, you know, because to each his own, you know, you yep. think what you want to think and learn what you want to learn, you know. Yeah, exactly. So, well. I'm always uh, tempted to listen to new ideas and get a uh, better perspective of uh, how to, uh, what, what, what on the moon. Can you tell me the other two guys? Hey, guys, me uh, You know what? I don't really care for the other two guys, to be honest with you. I don't think that they landed on the moon. I think it was a stage. I think they came out. They didn't come out. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, Armstrong came out and took out the glory. Well, how did they put the lunar mo how did they put the lunar rover oh, in that little oh, yeah. that lunar little lunar thing? No, 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 no. Ain't no the, yeah, and and when they when they landed, I know how to build it, a paper airplane. <laughs> right? right. And when they landed and took off, there's no crater from the exhaust. Yeah, right. That's why I was trying to think that, yeah, the crater wasn't no exhaust. Yeah. I remember I tried to say the wind won't yeah. blow. Yeah. Yeah, the exhaust. Man. There you, you go, man. On the nail. You should have dust all over the place, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they try to deceive our minds into thinking that outer space is real and outer space is not real. Right. Yeah. We may or may not live in a dome-type enclosed structure. Yeah. So, just something to think about, you know, and I'm sure it has crossed your mind, and yeah, yeah, uh, you yeah. seem like a... I'm sorry? You go to the University of Minnesota? No, I'm just uh, wearing the University of Minnesota just to hey, well, uh, fit in. Hey, well, appreciate it. All right, Randy. Well, thank you. God bless you, and uh, we'll see you around, man. Yeah. You Take it easy. Hey, right on. I'm a, you know what I'm starting doing? I ain't really a hockey... I used to be a hockey fan. I ain't a hockey fan like I used to be. Since I moved up here, I ain't been a hockey fan. But this year, I'm a panhandler at the... Uh, I sell energy. Hey, the hockey game. do it, man. I'll probably see you out there for a hockey game. Hey, to be honest with you, I'm a Blackhawks fan. You're a Blackhawks fan? Yeah, I'm from Illinois. Hey, that's all right. I don't watch professional sports because, in my opinion, they're all rigged and fake also. It could be because, remember the White Sox <laughs> through the World Series? Yeah. Yeah, I think games can still be thrown. Yeah. You know, you can... You or, never know. I know they or still scripted? Do, I know they still do it in college. Yeah, well, when and you got... I remember the University of uh, Arizona, the Arizona State, the Sun Devils, mm -hmm. they had a lot of basketball players been doing that. Sure. Well, when you got, uh, for, for football, when you got 22 players on the field at one time, that's almost over $200 million. Yeah. That's an investment, so I don't think that they're just going to leave that all to chance. Yeah. That's my opinion, but... I know she 
coming, man. Yeah. All right, Randy. Well, I'm going to walk around some more. I might see you later tonight, but yeah. take it easy, man. You too. Yeah. Randy. Got a Randy in the chat room. Smart gentleman. I hope things work out for him in the future. Yeah, they are really rituals. I mean, you watch LeBron James before each one of his games, he does a ritual. Right? Hey, Robin, good to see you. Yeah, sub to Project Eli. She does some live streams. I've been on her channel a couple of times. She is welcoming and always up for a chat. Y'all waiting for the bus? Yeah. 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 Did you see you got a couple minutes? What about uh, the idea of the earth the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught in school? Yeah. It is a flat, motionless plane. We're not a planet. You, you do? Do you guys, y'all have access to the YouTubes? Yeah? Okay, I got a YouTube channel. I'm actually live right now. If you don't mind, uh, yeah. Check it out. You know, here you go. So, there you go. Yeah, you're welcome. And I do openly talk about the Earth being flat and not a ball, and I got, like, links in the description below. So you can investigate my claims on your own time and see what you think. So, have fun. Hope you get on your bus. See ya. Ta-da! The earth is flat and not a ball. Don't run away, man. Come back. I have truth for you. Right in your forehead, a red pill. Smack. All right. Hit up that bus. Uh, I'll hit up that bus stop again later tonight. Still a beautiful day. Thank you everybody for hanging out for a while. Adam, I see you in there. Good to, good to see you. Got a couple of Adams. Just hanging out. Hanging out, waiting for opportunities to speak to people, you know. Don't want to be too aggressive. I do want to set the vibe in this area. That's kind of why I pace around a little bit. So I can really just kind of infect it with my, uh, a good feeling. Good, good, good feelings of truth and honesty. And I think people respond to that. So, yeah, I don't know everything and I'm willing to, uh, to learn more about our flat, motionless plane that we live on. Come alive, good to see you. Advanced settings. Right on, man. <clears throat> yeah, you have been infected for sure. I said at the beginning of uh, my season of authentic intent that reminds me of this game that I used to play on my iPad. I don't encourage people to play it a whole lot because <laughs> you're you're basically like a, a bacteria and you try to you know infect a human being and then you infect the, the human being infects all the rest of the populace and you try to stay one step or two steps ahead of the scientists in the game right it's called Plague Incorporated and I kind of feel like that's what I'm doing. I'm just one guy, but I'm walking around infecting the minds of the masses. Various opportunities to do so. So what else you got? Nothing really. 
do you like uh, do you like outer space talk do, movies? But yeah, but I don't know if it's true or not. You know, like you hear a lot of stuff growing up and you don't know what to believe. Yeah. So I don't know how to take it. Like I've heard, like I asked you earlier, like do they do experiments on aliens? You say they don't exist, but the FBI has documents stating otherwise. So I don't know what to believe. Yeah. Then they say they control the weather, things like that. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Well, uh, there is a, a device called HARP, H A A R P. Right. Okay. Yeah, and it does control the weather. Right. And with chemtrailings, chemtrails. Are you familiar with what those are? So those are the streaks that stay in the sky from airplanes. Right. So the difference between contrails is those are just exhaust fumes from the airplane that dissipate shortly after. Right. But chemtrails stay in the sky. And so when you look up at the sky sometime in the future, you'll see just a streak. Right. That's a chemtrail. That's not a real cloud. And they actually have three new clouds being taught in school right now. Really? To, to kind of placate off the idea of chemtrails. Wow. And then, so in conjunction with chemtrailing, they are able to control our, our weather. So what, what was this talk I heard uh, over in Alaska? They found oasis. Yeah, so back in the day, um, there, well, there's Alaska and there's Antarctica, right? And so with Antarctica, at the time in the 60s, there was a guy named Admiral Byrd, B-Y-R-D, I think, yeah. And he did some uh, excursions to the Antarctic area, and they blocked it off later. And then in uh, 1961, they enacted a treaty with 53 countries, not allowing civilians. Yep, yeah. So what's over there? Hey, I'd love to know. We're all, we'd all love to get the real... I really want to know what's over there. Then it's snowing in Africa. It's never yeah, done that before. Right. Like, is this global warming? What is that? Yeah, it's it fake. Is, right? Cow farts don't cause global warming. That's what I said. <laughs> You're right. Like everybody is going crazy. Yeah. And the end of the world is coming because it's snowing over there. No. Like, the Africans are going crazy because they've never seen it before. So, like, what is going on? Yeah. Man? Well, they do say curvature you could see from about 35,000 feet. But as you can see in the top picture I have there, that's 130,000 feet. Right. And there's still a horizon. The horizon is horizontal. That's why we call it the horizon. Right. Sea level is sea level because that's what it is. Water is always level. We don't call it a uh, curvizon. Right. You know? Right. So. I'm definitely going to check Yeah, I mean, you it, you will be up for days will, investigating these. I have these people that really like stuff like this, so I'm going to definitely put them up on your YouTube Yeah, channel. appreciate Thank it. So much. Yeah, not a problem. Have a great day. Yeah, I'm just going to walk around. Until the game's over. Hey, do you, do you know if they have fireworks at the end of the game? Really not sure. Okay. Okay. All right. See ya. All right, well, sad day. There's no fireworks, but that's all right. We'll be here for the duration of the game. The game is currently top of the fourth. Hometown team, Twins, six. Baltimore, three. I'd love to go back to Baltimore. Go back to that area and patrol the Washington, D.C. area. <laughs> Yeah, security is on our side. Security definitely is on our side. On everybody's side here. Not just mine, on yours also, because somebody wants you all to see these conversations. How you fellas doing? Hey, I got a, I just got a question. What do you think about this statement? I'm walking around Twin Stadium telling people the satellites don't exist. <laughs> yeah. Why do I say satellites don't exist? Because everything that we get regarding satellites in outer space look like Disney cartoons. This right here is? But does this look like an authentic picture, sir? No. It's not. This is a, a CGI image created on a computer. 
All of your pictures of satellites in outer space are all fake. How do they look? They look like this, sir. Yeah, they look all fake CGI images. And so when you do get a real picture of a satellite, it looks like this. <laughs> right? But where is this picture? Uh, looks like it's right over here. Yeah, it looks like it's on the ground, right? Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah, so... Yeah, so this may or may not be a working model done by Neil deGrasse Tyson after a box of wine, right? But then they give us this, and that's a picture of a satellite in space, but it's fake. How do you know it's fake? Well, sir, this says on the bottom caption of this picture that it's an artist's rendition. So this is not a real picture. Well, I don't have it on here, but... Oh, well, it's, it's the same idea. It, uh, the panels and stuff. Solar panels. No, I'm saying outer space is not real at all. All of the pictures that we get of outer space are fake. And I can prove it to you with another picture. Um, I got this little diagram here. What size is America? Both of those are official NASA photos. So if you could just point out which one of those is the... That one is? Okay. Why do you say that, sir? Because there's more... There's just too much space. Okay. I mean, North America is probably about that big, but... I don't think so. Did you know that North America is significantly smaller than Africa? That they lie to us about how the size of the continents are? You could probably fit four Americas in one continent of uh, Africa. Yeah, and on the other side is uh, what we, uh, what kind of is a representation of a flat earth map. So what do you think about the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught? <laughs> yeah, we do, exactly. And, and we can't really, uh, we, and a lot of people take their word for it, you know. And so I'm here to inform the public that we're being lied to about outer space. And uh, we might live in just uh, like a snow globe type environment with a firmament, and we've never been to outer space or the moon. Have you ever looked through a telescope? Have I? Yes, sir. Yep. Which one? What kind? Well, I mean, a fairly good one, and it was an analog one. Did you know that the lights in the sky are just unique? That Mars and Jupiter and Saturn are not physical objects that can be landed on? Have you landed on it before? Jupiter is made out of gas. Like cow farts? Uh, gas like cow farts? No, uh, methane. Methane? So, well, that's cow farts, right? No, that's methane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you, do you believe that? <laughs> All right, well, I do have a, a, a significant question for you. Do you believe that we landed on the moon? Not at first, but you do now. Okay. Why do you think we landed on the moon? What? Why do you think we landed on the moon? Like, what evidence do you think? I'm sorry? We landed on the moon so we could put a big base there so they could go to another planet. Okay, we've never been back to the moon, though. In f almost 50 years. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, informing the public that outer space is not real and the Earth is flat. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot? Yeah. Why am I an idiot? What if there's new information... The not flat. But what if there's new information to show and provide that it is flat and not a ball like we're taught? It could be flat. Okay. Time can move slower on another side of the world. Know how? Inform me, yeah. Let me know. Yeah, by the other side of the world, digging holes into the ground. Digging holes into the ground? Yep. Okay. I, I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's your opinion. That's, oh, yeah. that's you fine. You know how you went to school and they always said if you put everybody in one spot of the world, if it'd make a difference, if it'd change anything, they said it wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't. Yeah, you could probably fit the whole entire world in just yeah, like this state law, of Texas. Newton's law, they say for one thing to be in, put into motion, another thing has to hit it to put it into motion. Okay. I don't I don't believe in all those theories. That's a theory. That's a theory of relativity. Okay, imagine a relativity of something that's in motion. That's a theory, though. Okay, and it's not a fact. Is put inside of that. Hey, big bro. 
without yeah. touching that motion. Okay. With an opposite motion, faster. Okay. Then what would happen? Maybe bro. I uh, want. Well, uh, what do you think would happen? Well, nothing's gonna happen because the theory of relativity is just that a theory and gravity is not real. Yeah, gravity is real. It is. Yep. Could you explain it to me? Because it's never been I proven. I explain something to you. Okay, imagine gravity keeps us down on the ground. Okay. Imagine if we were to go into a black hole. Okay, black okay. holes are a theory a too. black hole stretches everything. It pulls it. But a black hole is not a... take it down into a small, teeny little something. Okay? Now imagine if you were to put gravity pushing the opposite way of the gravity that's holding us there. Okay. Okay, now we'd probably be able to be so Okay, well, I, I don't agree with that, and that's okay if we can agree to disagree, but black it's holes... A black hole. Hey, take it easy, man. It's a black hole. A, a black hole is a theory, and it's never been proven to be, exist. No, black hole is real. Well, you might think it's real because people say that, but it's not. It's a theory. Okay, so the Big Boom theory is real? The Big Bang? Yeah, the Big Bang. Uh, I don't agree with that, no. Like how evolution? Stars stars? No, evolution is not real. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Evolution is not real. No, it's not at all, man. Really? Yeah. They've proven it. Evolution. Well, why are why why are there still monkeys if evolution is true? Sh shouldn't there not be any monkeys? Why did they just stop evolving? Because we're here. Wait, we're here because we were created. Obviously, once that gets there, <coughs> and they see this, they're not going to evolve. Well, I just don't. I don't that's, know. That's evolution. That's but that was billions. Of, how were they able to measure something billions of years ago? How were they able? To yeah, they can't. How are they able to date stuff that happened millions and billions because of years ago? They didn't ago? have time. They didn't have nothing. They just have what they seen and what they thought, and they worked off nature, the wind, like the scientists, light, everything. No, but the I mean feeling. scientists. Like well, how it's are kind of like the gut feeling you have in you? You know what I mean? Like your conscience. Well, yeah, maybe your conscience. Okay. Maybe some people don't use it. Well, yeah, right. They think it's your conscience is their conscience, so I run with their conscience and. Hey, who's conscious and my conscious and what? Sure, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't speak their own person and who they are. Okay. Yeah, because they're afraid of what people will think. I, well, clearly, I'm not afraid of what people Obviously, think. Yeah, cause, yeah, everybody is. Yeah, that's, but... That's a lie. Yeah, because I, I openly I love to talk no, to people. No, I could prove it to you. What can you prove? I could prove that I could make you scared to fear me. But why? But we're both human beings and we both... But I could prove it. But why? I, mean, I could prove the fact that you need to be accepted. No, I don't need to be accepted. Yeah, because if you're not accepting what I'm saying to you and you're not understanding, you get scared of it. No. And that means you don't understand. No, perfect love casts it. out fear, and I'm not fearful. No, I'm, not, I'm not afraid of much. Evil to understand love. Oh, I do understand evil. That's why I'm here telling people the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. Okay, so the devil. Okay, yep. So that means you understand the devil. Yeah, but I'm not afraid of him. No, I'm not. Okay, tell me how. I have the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, and perfect love why casts out fear. Why was the devil put there? Why was he? Why well, did not, he become the devil? Yeah, I'm not here to have a. Why did he, I'm not God have, put him as the devil? The well, why? Lucifer was an angel of light, and he was a musician, and he was prideful because he wanted God's seat. And yeah. God saw his pride, so Lucifer was cast down to earth. Cast down, exactly. Yeah. And so that's where the Satan idea comes from. Well, have you ever thought in the fact of the idea that supreme power, somebody that's understanding his all being, will at one point lose and not understand what it is? You'll have to say that again. I kind of lost, lost you a bit there. Okay. Think of the fact and the understanding of something supreme, all power. Okay. At one point, we we'll lose knowing. in the fact and understanding of what it is. Okay. And need something there, something else to show what it okay, is. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, God doesn't yeah. need evil to show his perfectness. Because at one point, he's yeah. showing everybody what they're supposed to be, and he's going to forget what the fuck he is. Okay, well, I... I don't. It I don't. Grow fear. I don't believe in the idea you that God the needs fact Satan. That human beings Can are I... the most supreme being. That they're more powerful than God. No, I don't. Uh -uh. Yeah, they are because no. you know why? You know why? We're, we're, they have a conscious mind. And they have hope. Okay. Well, we do have hope, but they only through hope. our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's, that's the not only what hope. I'm talking about. Well, I'm. I'm I... Just because we got it from him, don't mean. That okay. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to go too far into a spiritual conversation. But I can, but I am... at one point, I didn't believe in God. Okay, okay. so who I do you believe in? in? 
I believe in God. You believe, I believe in, in God? Spirit, yep. Okay. Okay, I believe in I'm here for a reason. Okay, but who okay. is God then? Who is God? Yeah. Does he have God a name? God is all loving, caring, being. Okay. That is selfish. God is selfish? Selfish. Okay. I, I don't agree with Jealous. that. Jealous. I don't agree with that. Okay. He loves his people, but he's lost the fact that he's been so jealous of wanting their love for so long <laughs> that they've been denied. We've been denied the fact of our love from him. Mm -hmm. That we are now trying to take science with that and try and make him come and show his love. Okay, I can uh, I can somewhat agree with that. I do believe that they do use science to create uh, an illusion of God. Okay, because yeah. here's one thing. You cannot find the cure for a disease unless you're doing human study. Uh, yeah, uh, I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I mean, I do believe that humans exactly. have to you be kind of like a... You need you need their DNA, you need all that. Yeah, you and do you need... them living and functioning. You do you need, like, have you do need like, kind of guinea pigs type of humans okay. or people that would volunteer yeah, to that Yeah, because for one thing, yeah. you can't have a growing cell and being thing that's not real growing unless it was an embryo. That was actually in something living. You can't just have it and have it grown, okay? Well, they do grow human beings in uh, embryotic chambers now, separate from a human body. Not unless you had a human growth living around it. No, but, but you have to listen to what I'm saying. They are growing human beings in tanks, like on the Matrix, separate from the human body, in imagine if artificial growing, wombs. Imagine if they're growing other brains in well, they're doing a lot of know, things that, like that female, we don't know. Female brains with the male brains. Because you know, actually, the female gives off different fucking, you know, gene, like... Well, so do males, yeah. Estrogens and all that shit. Yep, you know, both male stuff. and females yeah. do what they have At to do. At certain times. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, what, imagine this. Take that time in their life when they're growing in the embryo, when it's giving off that... Give the mother a very stressful situation, something that happens almost mentally to her, uh -huh. that's unfunctioning, that would give off a different chemical. Okay. Okay. Now imagine the effect that that would have. Now imagine if that was the split that. Okay. Yeah, and these are all theories. I mean, these haven't been proven. Is this just your ideas? These are my ideas. Okay. Sure. Of course. Any idea is a good idea. Any idea to well, any idea is an, of something. Any that, idea is not a good idea. It is good or bad based no. on any the, idea the is intent. a good idea because then that gives something to grow off. Well, the intent is very important on whether that no good idea, idea is not a good idea when nobody goes off of it and somebody does not take that idea and puts it to something. I don't know about okay, that because one yeah. thing the big corporations in the world these days. Do not want us to have ideas. Because ideas well, yeah. means you're paranoid. Well, that independent thought. They don't want us to have independent no, thought. That means you're conspiracy theorists. Uh, I'm a very much a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. yeah. Tell me yeah, how. Yeah. Well, I'm, I just told you that the earth is flat and not a ball. Yeah, I want to hear something else. Uh, what happened in 9-11? Uh, the fucking Twin Towers got hit by airplanes. Okay, I don't believe that airplanes hit those towers. Really? Yeah. That's stupid. Okay, well, I just told you I'm a conspiracy theorist. They and no why? Because you saw it on drop. TV. Yeah. Okay. Well, what if they CGI'd airplanes over missiles, and they were missiles that hit the towers and not airplanes, no, and they I just the CGI'd the airplanes? America wanted them to hit the twin towers. Okay. Well, do you know what happened? Uh, there's another building that fell. Did you know that three main towers fell that no, day? Why? Maybe it could be in a big conspiracy theory that that's why we're having so many of them come over and they're becoming cab drivers for us and medical riders for us. Well, that and might, then we're taking their oil. That, that's your opinion. I don't agree with that. Because oh, really? Americans are immigrants too, aren't they? Because America is going to run as long as they can on cars with oil before they run electric. Do you think, they want to make money. Do you think oil is a fossil fuel? They're going to want to run all the other resources they can out before the other ones. Do you think oil is a fossil fuel? Like fossil dinosaurs, fuel? yeah, like dinosaurs and whatnot. Oil is a fossil fuel; it's a burner. It's okay. not like gas, but it runs slower. I know, but it's a. a okay, I mean, a, a fossil it, fuel it has means an oil base. A it fossil has a burn, fuel but means it, has, it burns slower. A fossil fuel means that it's from old bacteria or life forms from hundreds of millions of years ago. Okay, I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> I don't believe dinosaurs okay, existed. Uh, what is that shit that used to burn back in the day? Like fuck or. Uh, not gas, but... Like natural propane, gas? Propane, not propane, but... 
natural gas. Fossil fuels. Kind of like the shit that was given off out of the nature of, let's say, what is it, like coal. Coal, okay. Coal mining. Okay. Of burning. Sure. Okay. Sooner or later you're going to get that, and okay. that's a different fuel. And then that will be in lanterns that will burn longer. Okay. Okay, longer. Things okay. will run longer. Do you want to know uh, another? Yeah, yeah sure, man. This? Yeah, I got uh, 82 Are people watching this? right now. Live yeah, on YouTube. It's been amusing. Over the thought, laps, laps, yeah, I go jump off the edge of the earth and I am what? Ian Tinsley? I bought a coil. Uh, that's not even funny. What? I think that's interesting. Can I turn it on you now? On what? On you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you go to school? No, I don't go to school. You're not a college no. student? Uh -uh. You never went to school? No, I just, uh, I got this shirt at... Are you a graduate? No, I just went to high you school. Never gra you never graduated high school? No, I did graduate high school. I didn't graduate college. Okay, what was your uh, IQ level or your GPA? Uh, I think like 3.2, 3.3, like Budweiser 3.2. I'd say 2.8, but probably. Me? 2.8? Yeah, maybe a 3.1, 3.0, <laughs> yeah. but okay. Yeah, my IQ is pretty high, though. Yeah, I think it's my... Uh, what kind of family do you come from? Uh... A broken home, but you know, divorce and whatnot. Okay. I spent some I spent some time in a foster home when I was in high school. So okay, why? I have a terminal illness called cystic fibrosis. So your parents just gave you up? Uh, no. At the time, unfortunately, my mom wasn't able to take care of me. You want to make sure it's on me. Yeah. You see? Okay. Yeah, you only usually get that when you're way older, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I was diagnosed with CF at three months old. Okay, so yeah, yeah, from your mother, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. and just at the time in high school, my mom wasn't able to take care of me, but things are better now. So I just felt, I just felt to spend some so time. So you thought you'd be all right just to sell you off to? Uh, yeah, the, actually my doctors felt it best for me to go uh, to a foster care, just because at the time my and mom And you turned out all right, right? Hey, appreciate it, man. You yeah. turned out all right. I you think got so. Kids? Yeah. No, I don't have kids. Okay, you got a girlfriend, a wife? No girlfriend, no, no wife. How old are you? 36. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. You're I just, just turned 36 May no, you're 2nd. Not. You're yeah. 29. You think I'm 29? Yeah. I actually, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty close. A lot of people say I'm like 22, 24. Not 36. But, uh, you probably might even be 24. May 2nd, 1981. Yeah. You might be the age of my sister, yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. How about yourself? You kind of look like my sister's boyfriend's brother. <laughs> okay, your almost. sister's boyfriend's brother, okay. Yeah, Chris, I don't know uh, much about him. Okay. Yeah, my, my like sis actually, my sister's husband's name is Chris. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where are you from, Minnesota? Yeah, I'm born and raised in Minnesota. I currently okay. live out in uh, Minnetonka. 49ers fan. What did you want to be when you grew up? I, I don't know, man. I didn't want to be much. I just I, I just wanted to uh, help people. So. Oh, shit, he's 30 fucking six. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You wanted to help people in what yeah, way? Yeah, I did. Um, Just, I don't know. I think that I'm kind of... How about the homeless? The homeless? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I've done some volunteering. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever seen like the older people out here that are wandering around, you know? Yep. Like shouldn't be on the streets? Yeah, I have. I you actually thought about that. Like, I talked to a guy over about? here named Will. Talked to him a little bit. I have talked to a lot of homeless people. So on... do you have any ideas you can come up with right away that would probably help the situation? Uh I think that there needs to be more opportunities for work. Uh rehabilitation. Like uh, the ability to educate people so, I have then an they idea. Can, so then they can get jobs. I have an idea. Yeah, what's up? Okay, traveling. Yeah. When you got to travel far, you get paid more money. Okay. When you're a superstar, you get paid more money. Sure. When you work for a big corporation, you get paid more money. You do I got an idea. Why doesn't the uh, community, you get paid more money by the more skilled you are, by the more jobs you can do around the community. What do you do? For, what do you in. What skill do you No, have? just imagine, because uh, not every person should work Burger King. Okay. Right. Yeah. Not every woman that's a stubborn fat woman that hasn't been married for 30 years should work at Burger King. Right. No, yeah. I agree. It's just wrong. Uh, okay. Yeah, I get Everybody it. should wear a smile. Yeah. Okay. Do you think there is an idea of the fact that uh, they deny certain people that, let's say, they are, uh, uh, let's say they're, uh, 
Undergraduates, they're uh, maybe not capable of taking care of themselves. You know, they're you know a young adult, never grew up at a teenage because they did drugs. So you know, they're probably a, a, a risk or maybe like almost some would say a disease to yeah. society. Sure. Okay. Just, just make sure yeah, they're, they're still running. Okay. Yeah, they're probably taking away the money from us. You know, in America. Well. Did you see this? I got this sign here. No, I'll tell you, what do you think is really taking away the money from uh, America? NASA is taking away money. No, I think every state is. Oh, yeah. I from the too. government. Did you know, do you know why we pay the income tax? No, why? To pay off the interest it's of the federal reserve. It's not a United reserve. States anymore. Well, it's, it's the United, United States, States of, of corporate America. It's the United States of counties. Well, in states. Did you know that the United States is a corporation? And so it's really like Minnesota is a country yeah and we charge and people every taxes. county yeah it's its own other yep. little country but that's why we pay the income tax is for the federal reserve interest and they're bullshit and it's yep. bullshit yeah, you it think is. that the city probably cheated uh st cloud uh, you know, the th area with the light rail i think everything is cheated everybody yeah, and did. that's why i'm here they cheated the fact yeah okay the fact that they only it only cost two dollars to take the bus from st cloud uh, to big lake but then it costs six fifty go from Big Lake to uh, the cities. And that kind hey, of man, cracked out. I totally get up. it. I, I it is. I know it's I know I it's I mean I think up, it's man. great. That's awesome. You know what it I mean? It is good to have that but kind of travel. But where's the piece of pie for the people that should have it? Well I know. The ones that are denied it. Yeah. Okay. Because they say society does not build characteristic and build people, that's bullshit. They say you say you're a free person and you're out and you're doing your thing. You're not free. I, yeah. You know why? Because people are watching you. The community is watching you. If you're a bad person, if you're an outcast. You know that. You wait, know that, wait. Maybe that person. Oh no! Look at his thoughts. He might be a. Oh, he might be a killer. Look at him. He's kind of like, uh, you know, yeah, Charles fine. Manson. You know what I mean? Because he's this and that. Do you know the two you know F I mean? words that the establishment but the thing hates? Is not feeding off of it. Do you know the two F words that the establishment hates? Flat and freedom. People that, <laughs> that are really doing bad things are the ones who cannot see that and understand that. Yeah. And not fucking and be scared of the fact that they might even do something off of it. You know the pet Or what people might think of them. You know the people that are really doing evil are the ones running our country. Uh no. Because so? who's running the country? The establishment. What establishment? Uh, well, I prefer not to get into it, but uh, read Revelation no, the not community is running this world. And if you really want to run your world, you're running your world. Well, you, to an extent, yeah. yeah. I mean, I am running this. I'm doing uh, street interviews and yes. talking to people about Flat Earth. So I am says, take the world independent. into your own hands. Yeah, and Change I with the world. Change yeah. with times. Be no. the change that you want to see. Never change. Always be who you are. Change the world. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing that. One okay, person at a time. Because if you're not changing the world, and you're not speaking who you are, and you're fucking agreeing with the fucking people that are around you, yeah. to be part of that, to conform, conform, in. To conform in, yeah. you've just denied what God gave you. Yeah. No, which I, is I a conscious it, mind to be free. And America stripped that from us. Yeah. Okay? I, we yeah, do not have it, the man. freedom of speech no more. Okay, this land is my land. Well, this land is for you. I kinda, we kind of do have free me. speech because uh, I am expressing it when I videotape. But yeah. the First Amendment is to keep the establishment away. Okay. Well, let's just say a patch so, of grass that's way out in the middle of nowhere. Whose sure. grass is that? Uh, that's the, uh, the government's. Right. Yeah. And who's the government? Well, when you own your property, you have to pay taxes on it still, right? Okay, so you don't yeah. Technically You're own paying it. taxes on what? But you're, play, you're playing property taxes. And tax. for how long? Until you Your own. whole life? Yeah. Oh, I, I had to pay taxes on you this land. property tax for my whole, whole life. life. Yeah. To who? To the government. Who? To the United Kingdom? No, to the United States. Well, you might to be the United to the Federal Kingdom? Reserve. To the United sure. Kingdom? Or the Vatican. However you want to put it, you know? I mean... Probably. You're, yeah, you're putting... You're Would you ever think of the idea that George Washington was actually running for the United Kingdom? Well, the uh, he is a Freemason, yeah. Yeah, so, and then he denied everything. And the whole fucking uh, us coming to do the Declaration of Independence was bullshit. <laughs> I, I'm well aware, man. That's why I'm here. Okay, why am I not free? Because it's you became a world... Of it's a woman's state. It's becoming a world thing. You have, a, you have the... Everybody said it. 
during the time of all that that we just said. So, <laughs> they want give me to his give... phone back. <laughs> okay. Give him his phone back. Give him his phone back. Hold on. And the conscious what? Oh, give him his phone back. Really? That's all they can say? Yeah, well, they... Wow. I, yeah, they don't they, they don't want to see me anymore. They, yeah, there you go. I mean, you look like, haha, ha, give him his phone back, 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 back. Okay, I like hey, it. Go ahead. Right on, man. Well, yeah, so... It must be for some good reason. Yeah, well, they, they're, they're honest people, and uh, it's a honest community. So, honest yeah. Community? I, I think so. I mean, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I haven't met any of these people perfect, but... I mean, I've seen some good ass. Nobody's, nobody's perfect, and we all make mistakes, but we are... Uh, Vigilant. He is perfect, yes. Yep. How perfect is he? One hundred percent. Yeah. To deny us his love? He will never deny you. The devil does it. Uh the devil will give you everything you want he and he will you drag anything. you down. The devil doesn't have love, man. He doesn't? No. I know. Isn't there someone <laughs> supposed to be there to give it to him? Uh, nope. The devil has made so his choice. He's to be the devil forever? He has made his choice, yep. He will burn in the lake of fire forever. No, no he should be uh, back in heaven. Uh, he will never go to heaven. Because then that would end everything. Fighting. It won't. Yeah, it would. No. The only way that it will end is when the Lord returns the same way he left in Acts 1. I think it will end when the next Jesus mm -hmm. comes. VG, not the his next. Father, defines his father, goes to hell for the sins of his people and goes to hell and then builds love in the devil to go to <laughs> he, he won't no, the, yeah. no it's and know what he'll do is this is what he'll do he'll have his times where he'll meet with both of them together that's not gonna happen man you no so? no I know so really yeah. why because the Bible tells you so uh, well it does say in Revelation what's gonna happen okay. and There's he's already the, made his bed first the first amendment Bible, the second. Yeah, the first, uh, okay. the first testament, There'll the second one. testament. Yep. There'll be another one. A, B, C. There'll uh, be another one. There's not, Rome man. Rome will come to an end. You know, revelations will come. Okay. Yep. There'll be fighters, free fighters like me. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. Well, you that do have an FBI shirt on. Why do you have an FBI shirt? Oh. For best information. <laughs> okay. Biggest information. Okay. All right. Or whatever. What's your name, man? My name is... Enough for you to know okay. and not to care. All right. Well, my name is Joshua. But enough to share with hey. people I don't even know who's on there. Hey, right on, man. Well, my name's You're Joshua. Tweeting my stuff, right? So, I'm sorry? Is that tweeting? No, we're live on YouTube. Live on YouTube. Live on YouTube. Okay. Right now, on I can location. See. No, you can't, man. Sorry. In Minnesota, I have the right to openly, publicly film. Anybody? Anybody I want. Yeah, it's yeah. one of 39 states to you be able to do I so. Just said you said you should. Yeah. Couldn't? I, it is. I can take into consideration a person's request not it to not be filmed. Whether you share it to anybody else or do who it, it is. doesn't. No. If they talk. Statute six two six point zero two. Okay. Somebody that's on there comes and finds me. Uh, I don't know it how they would find me you. Out. Seeks me out. They're not gonna. Why wouldn't they? Face? I don't know. They man. Hey. Why not? The world's crazy. How well, could they? It, it is. It is crazy. But that's not gonna happen. You so. Tell me, you never had a stalker before. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't uh, I had ever a had a. Stalker. You had a girl stalk you? Yeah. That sucks, man. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I thought you were very interesting. I want to know what you were. She oh, what you were about. I guess I'm not you know, interesting enough PCA to be stalked. At the time. She was uh, trying to figure out, you know, myself. I might be gang stalked. Be healthy for me, you know. Yeah. Try to build my uh, self-esteem, all that good stuff. Yeah. But uh, I, you know, I changed her characteristic who she is. Okay. Know, her character. Okay. Because, you know, it's hard. It's sure. hard to do that. People don't do that very often. Or very yeah, they don't. You know, I don't do it for good reasons. Good. I do it for bad reasons. Don't do bad things. Well, who says it was a bad reason? Well, I'm just saying, just... It's uh, a bad reason for them, but good reason for me. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right, right? Good reason for others, but bad reason for them. Two wrongs don't make a right. I didn't say okay. two wrongs make a right. Did you just understand what I just said? Well, you said that you did something bad for something good to happen, right? I did something bad maybe in for them, but good for me, but good for others. Okay, so that's a, that's selfishness, right? You no, know, that's changing the characteristic in them that was bad. Okay. That should be different. Okay. You know, good. Sure. Good yeah. hearted. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, hey, man, it was a pleasure talking to you. What's and your name? Uh, Joshua. Okay. So yeah. Why? What was the whole point of going around here and talking about this? Uh, I got a YouTube channel if you want to check so it out. Worldwide flat.
uh, because I want people to understand where we live and that we were lied to as children about. You should show this to me on here. The Earth How do you being, do it? How yeah. do you do it? So I can do it myself. Just... Well, do you have a cell phone? No, nope, but I will soon. Okay, yeah. Well, but you gotta go. You gotta download the YouTube app. And once you get 100 subscribers, you can go live on YouTube. Yeah, but I want to know how you do it. Like, I can't I don't know the YouTube program. Yeah, I can't show works. you now, man, because it's I'm live and I can't end the feed. So you're in the feed. No, I'm not gonna end the feed. You tell them you'll be back in 10 minutes. No, because then they'll love man. you even more. Sorry, man. Yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, that's, not gonna that's happen. not cool. Hey, all right, man. Let me see that picture though. What is that? So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, the flat horizon from 130,000 feet up top. And that's a fake picture of a satellite. So the Earth is flat from all levels of the eyesight. Okay, I can kind of see where you're going with the flat. I know, right? Okay, for the fact if there's more weight on one side, like time changes and it goes slower, you know, you seem like it's going faster. Okay, well, uh, I don't agree with that, but... I can get the idea. Well, you don't agree with anything. Well, <laughs> yeah, well... I know, right? I am willing to learn, but... Just to grow. I, I am, I am. I can teach, but... I can teach, but I think that being sober is definitely a good opportunity. Sobriety is a good way to, to be teachable. Sobriety is... Okay, I'll tell you this right now. Yeah. Uh, Indeed. Oh, sick is only in the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Sickness is only in the beholder. Okay. Okay, if you tell me I'm sick, uh huh. You're sick. <laughs> well, I get that a lot. I get called idiot, an idiot, and a moron a lot. So. People do Guys. think I'm mentally ill, for sure. Sickness, I may be sick. Uh-huh. And I may go into the idea of what you think I am sick and try and understand it. Uh-huh. And I will spread that out through a amount of people. And at a certain point where I find out that I'm not sick, then it's Okay. Then you've just justified that you're fucking with my rules. Well, I am infecting a lot of people with the truth that the Earth is a flat, so motionless plane and not a ball. So it's yeah. supposed to be changing everybody's rules. Okay, and that's you're what I'm trying to, to do. Supposed be accepting everybody and bringing them into your life. Yep. Okay. So you what's your name? The best. You know, even if somebody somebody did something bad to you and what you think it is. Yep. Think later. It might be a message. Can there is. Talk about it later. Yep you'll get the right answer of why it was. Okay. Right on, man. What's your name? My name is already what you know. <laughs> yeah. For you not to understand. All right, man. Well, I'll see you around. For sure. I'll be around here. Your... Joshua. Joshua. And you gave me your what? A YouTube channel. So check it out sometime when you got a chance to go on the internet. Authentic internet. Authentic. There's nothing to find you on here. Hey, you'll, you'll, well, that's not a computer. Authentic internet. Authentic so, intent. Yeah. Intent, yeah, yes. whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, but how am I supposed to find you on that? Uh, well, that's a piece of paper, and then if you... Where's the card? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very high-class card from a cut-up 8x11 piece of so paper. can I scan this and, like, it'll come up or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Like, with people that you know, if there's, like, a community thing? Yeah, it'll be a hologram, show up right in front or of your face and everything. Maybe. Yeah. Dude, I hate that you have what it's saying on. Oh, uh, go back to it. They're not coming on now. Yeah, they're there. See, they're That's just going over here. Hold on. They see you on drugs. No, come on. <laughs> yeah. I must see all this. I think it's funny. Well, it is fun. Yeah. I don't think this guy is going to remember any of his <laughs> interactions. <laughs> yeah, because they're retarded. <laughs> they don't know me. Let's see. I love that uh, picture, though. Yeah, That's they got funny. some good pictures. No, I like that. Because that uh, happened to be a... Uh, it's a penguin. Oh, hold on. It was a tablet that I found that was in the garbage. That would come on a tablet okay. that was like that. Have my ass off. You think he has internet? Lots of laughs. He's on the fence. Looks like a tranny. <laughs> What's up? Ha ah, that's a piece of paper. But Joshua is a trooper. All the tweakers have phones. Ha <laughs> ha. FBI guy is cool. Boom goes the high. Dude, you're drunk. Hello, FBI guy. Hey, you're drunk. 
Booze is bad and pot is good. Do you want proof? Pot is legal and booze is not. What? More proof? <laughs> Flat earth. You can't be serious. Be careful. Alcohol kills. He's, he's a friendly drunk. Yeah. Hey. Still reserved. Hey. FBI guy. Uh, I'm sure that's probably all girls that are talking about me. There's just flat spaces. Hey, you go if you move your hand. What? There you go. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't want to look at it. <laughs> no. There's just flat. There's just flat. Blah, blah, blah. He's flat, bro. Yeah, he's flat, bro. I am hey. one of the flat guys. You guys all yeah. control me and dress me. And I just sit there and I have no voice. It's super cool. All flat. right, man. I'm going to take off, though, and i got another hour to go, so All right. keep it real, man. Hey, I really need to know your information. You're going to yeah, Joshua. Joshua what? Yeah, well, right on the, yes. right on there. Actually, my all my information is right there, man. I might have that. Yeah. If you go to my YouTube channel, all my information is on it. So. Hold up, I got more. <coughs> I need to know. What is this guy doing? I'd like to go hang out with you and your friends. Oh, oh, oh. I see how smart they are. What's your name? Joshua. Joshua? Yeah. Joshua what? Swift. All my information's on my YouTube channel, man. You can go to my Facebook. You know? Like that? Yep. Swift. Joshua Swift. Easy money. That's on uh, fucking Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Joshua Swift. Yeah. I'm the real deal, man. From Minnesota. From Minnesota. Santi Suk English School. I taught English in Thailand for a bit, so. What area you called to put it? Uh, I don't know, 763? Zip code, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, Minneapolis. 55441, five, something like that, you know? Four, four, one, five, five, yeah. Four, one, one. Keep it real, man. Hey, keep it solid. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. <laughs> Gravity keeps it flat, huh? All right, we got the Twins game. Right? All right, so the score on the Twins game is Twins 6, Baltimore 4. I felt like Velcro. I just couldn't, I couldn't get away. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Maybe he'll send the FBI after me. All right, so we're back. Woo! I need a, oof, that was a, I need a reset on that guy. Uh, I hope he's doing well, though. Yeah, that was like Velcro there. It took a while to get disconnected. <laughs> that was gold, Jerry, gold! That's funny on Seinfeld. I used to be a big Seinfeld fan. Gold, Jerry. It's gold. How you guys doing? Have you ever heard of the idea that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school? <laughs> and we never landed on the moon. You guys traveling somewhere? We are. Where are you going? Where's home? Baltimore? No, no, no. No? West of here. West of here? In Minnesota? Okay, right on. Do you guys ever go on YouTube at all? No? Can I encourage you to? I got a YouTube channel. You'll be on TV. I don't want to be on TV. No, you don't want to, you don't want to even look at my YouTube channel? Thanks for asking. No? Okay. All right. Well, investigate the, uh, the idea of the Earth being flat, okay? I will. All right. Have a good afternoon. Alright, some clouds coming in over here. I don't think those people were from Minnesota, they weren't very nice. <clears throat> Alright. Now they're up talking about me. Sad day. I'm gonna go home now, they're talking bad about me, mommy! Wah, wah, wah. Alright, I don't think there's too much action going on down there. I'm going to hang out here by the door. There's a train station right there. <coughs> uh, 
All right. Anybody looking for the score in the Twins game? Twins are up. Six to four. Two men on, one out. Bottom of the fifth inning, I think. No, it's got to be the sixth. Bottom of the sixth. <laughs> yeah, right. They're unpacking. So they still live in Minnesota, but they pack like that. I mean, hey, they might be from Minnesota. They might be going up to Duluth or something. I don't know. Try to catch people. Here are those things that make those crazy humming noises for all you new agers out there. Check this out. I'll move away but if you stand here you're surrounded by them and you have just like this humming noise it's very like creepy actually <laughs> yeah I, I know right that's not I don't understand why they made this there are nine of them number nine number nine number nine from the Beatles song right Okay. Let's just go down here. I'm gonna go uh, down to the area where I was previously. Hey, you know what? I haven't seen Sam. Let's see if we can walk around and see if we can find Sam from 21 Frets. See if I walk down here, Frank will have my back at the end. Red Sox fans. How you guys doing? It's Boston's playing today? Yeah, huh? They did. They lost. Oh, sorry about that. But you would do you want to be a winner though? Uh, if you research the earth being flat, you'll find out the truth about where we live. And not a ball like we were taught. So good luck with that. Bunch of Boston fans wearing t-shirts. All right, I'll look here at the chat. Warriors. Yeah, I appreciate your comment from earlier. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is flat in Boston. <coughs> All right. So we got <laughs> Hey sir, how you doing? Hi. Hey. Uh what do you think about this statement? Satellites don't exist. Uh I believe they do exist. You do? Yes. Okay. What evidence do you have? where you believe that they do exist? Well, uh, basically, sometimes when you feel out in an uh, uh, area, like, sure. you can see, you know, I don't know how you explain but you can sort of like tell that there are some up there. Okay, like lights in the sky? Yes, like, like it has movements and stuff like that okay. and stuff, where they're not stars and stuff. Sure, what if that's uh, like a communication balloon or a drone? Uh, if they can get that high, I'd be surprised. Well, uh, have you ever looked at what a satellite in space looks like? Yes, I, I see it on, sometimes on NOAA channels and stuff okay. like that. So like Discovery Channel yeah, and that? Stuff yeah, stuff like that, yep. Do those look real? Yeah, they do. 
They do. Yeah, I actually went down to NASA and actually saw one. Okay, so you saw one that kind of looked like this, maybe? Sort of, but it looked different. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what about that? Is that a real picture? I don't think so. No, it's not. It's CGI. Yeah. Yeah. All of the pictures that you get of outer space are CGI. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that means that they're not real. Oh, okay. I mean, they're not real. Real? Not real? Outer space is not real. Wow. I, I, I'm kind of hard to believe that. Well, I know, but you just said that CGI is real, though, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, I do have a YouTube channel. Okay. And uh, I do discuss the Earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, there goes the meat wagon. Hope everybody's all right. Yeah, I just, I really laid it on him real thick. Real, a lot of mayo, a lot of Dijon mustard on that sandwich for him. He does have white legs. I hope he wakes up. I hope he wakes up. I hope he wakes up. How you doing, man? Hey, can't complain, thanks. All right. Red pill forehead, kersplat, flat smacked. All right. I hope everybody's doing well today. Just kicking back, hanging out. I appreciate you all uh, sticking around. Chris, level-headed. RJ, yeah, Nova, right? Hello. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Good. How are you? Hey, I can't complain. Hey, have, has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth might be flat and not a ball like we're taught? No, what are you doing? I'm uh, live on YouTube, oh. letting the public know that outer space is fake. <laughs> yeah. Letting them know that Earth is fake? Earth is flat. Oh, flat. Yeah, I do have a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Yeah, I'll check I got it out. links in the description. Got a hey, go for it. Run, run. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Hey, good, good. Did the twins win? Okay, 6'4". Six, 6'4". Four. Six, four. Yeah, all right. Yeah, hey, well, you know, I, I, I got my moments. Yeah. What do you think about my statement, the uh, satellites don't exist? Flat Earth. Yeah, flat. Hey, man, well, that's a good idea. I, I do, uh, well, let me give you this, and then I'll shake your hand. Right. That's my YouTube channel. Appreciate what, it. What's your name? I'm Sam. Sam? Yeah. Awesome. Good to see you. Thank you, brother. Take it easy, fellas. All right, I hear a guitar playing. I hear a guitar playing, so let's see who is playing the guitar. Oh, it's the same same guy from earlier. How you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Hey, I can't complain. It's a beautiful night to let people know the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. Yeah. yeah. Has it ever crossed your mind that we don't live on a ball? In outer space? What's that? Has it ever crossed your mind that we don't live on a ball in outer space? We don't live on a ball? We don't live on a ball. Because water does not curve and gravity is not real. Why isn't gravity real? Because it's just a nomenclature to explain away this. That's falling on the ground because that weighs more than the air around it. And NASA got $19.5 billion to give us CGI images of outer space. Nobody's ever been to the moon or Nobody's Mars. ever been to the moon? No, sir. No. Do you believe we landed on the moon? I do, actually. You do? Okay. Yeah. I have a YouTube channel, and I'm actually live right now on YouTube, and I got cool. quite a community of, of friends and in a community of flat earthers. And flat earthers? Yeah, too. that's what we're called, flat earthers. Right. People who believe we live in a flat, motionless plane. Have you ever been to China? Uh, close. I've been to Thailand. You've been to Thailand? Yep. So you've traveled around the world? I have, yep. And can I show you a picture? Sure. This is a, uh, a picture. On the bottom is the horizon from the beach. Okay, and the middle picture is from an airplane. And the top picture is 130,000 feet. All of those are straight horizons. Uh -huh. That's why we call it a horizon, because it's horizontal and right. not curved. Right. We don't call it a curvizon. Right, okay, yeah. gotcha. So, uh, yeah, so, any perspective that you see, the sky... So, so, so why... What's the big 
conspiracy on why the world is. I do have a YouTube channel here if you want to check it out. Why the world out. is round? My buddy believes in it. Hey, right. Hey, well, this is, is this is my uh, YouTube channel. I just encourage you to check it out and look at the links below. Authentic intent. You could really help out your let family, man. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. So the world is flat, right? Yep. Yes. So and motion. So China to America. Yeah. It's all on one. One giant disc, maybe. One disc. Yeah. Could I give you a better visual? But, but, no, but what's what's below that? Do you know how far we've drilled into the ground? Miles. Nine. Yeah. Yep. So the what's, diameter. What's on the, what's on the bottom? Of that? If I don't know. A top. There's a bottom. There might be, or it might be an well, infant. It has to be. It might be. What do you mean? If there's a top, <coughs> if mm -hmm. China to America is here. Yep. What's on the bottom? Yep. I don't know. I've never been there before, and I, and I I can be confident about saying I don't know. So so they've never flown around the bottom. Ever? No, you're thinking of the globe. You're well, thinking of a ball. Earth. The flat okay. Earth. The flat Earth. Yep. Can I give you a visual to help that's, you that's understand? Okay. I'm just asking you a question. Yes, I know you're asking me a question, right. but I'm trying to tell you that the deepest we've drilled into the ground is eight to nine miles. Right. So they've never sent an airplane. Around, they've only sent it you see, around the top. Yes, yes. It's never gone. No, because you're thinking of the ball, sir. Right, but if it's a flat, if it's a pizza. What? Yeah. What if, if it's, it's an pizza. infinite plane? If it's a pizza, it's an infinite plane. Yes. So With an infinite ends? firm, yes. With an infinite firmament or dome right. type structure to make us never be able to go into outer space. So we've never been in outer space. No, sir. Never. Never. So, and we've never seen the bottom of. Unless you the, believe in the ball, no. We've never seen the bottom of the flat plane. Either. No, sir. Really? Do you I know mean, the diameter of Earth that they tell us in school is eight thousand miles? Okay. So yeah, it's the rate. Five thousand miles all the way. Circumference. Around. Yes. But the diameter is eight thousand. Okay. Got it. And so the radius would be what? Half of eight thousand is about four thousand miles, right? right. Okay, so if we've only drilled eight to nine miles into the ground, Russia has done this. We've only gone nine miles. How do we know the another th not three thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight miles? So all the pictures that you've seen from supposed space, yes, are they're CGI. All, they're, what's CGI? Computer graphics. Oh, so it's all made up. It's all made up. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you Google space art, uh -huh. it's actually an art type thing, you know, like abstract art, mm -hmm. you know? The space art. Space art gives you your imagination of outer space. Hollywood. So why are you so adamant about this? What, 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 what creates your passion? I want to know where we like live, this? sir, and we've been lied to in school. We don't uh -huh. live on a ball in a globe. Uh -huh. And so the I, I, I challenge you, so, but, but throughout what, the day, what, what, look out. What makes your passion, though? I mean, why are you so passionate about this? I'm tired of being lied to. Right. I yeah. Mean, well, we're lied to a lot about well, we a lot are. of things in our but, world, but, but what about the, where we the, live? The, the circumference of the world, so you're most concerned about that lie I'm, than versus other lies? It is the ultimate lie. It is? Yeah. Don't you think matters concerning world peace and Yep, war, I do. I have them all right like here, sir. Chemtrails, are, are vaccines. More concerning than if the world is round or not. Sir, when flat earth is revealed, yeah. Everything will be solved because then all the money will be able to go to the right place. Because well, we why get will 19, solve because 19.5 billion dollars is given to NASA every that's year to give nothing. us CGI that's a, images. That's a, that's a drop in the bucket. That's 19.5 billion dollars, that's sir. Nothing. That's nothing it is something. What this world is dealing with right now, 19.5 billion dollars is one year in Afghanistan, for God's sakes. Okay. Why do we go that's to Afghanistan? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm, a, I'm against war. Do you know why I, we go to Afghanistan? I'm not saying that you are or aren't. I'm just saying that there's more problems in the world than... No, this is the ultimate the problem, world. sir. Earth is round or flat. Sir. What's, what's going what's gonna to save the world? Can I ask you, you a question? That the world this is a world start. Better? This is a start, sir. What, what, what are you going to do to make it better? I don't know, man. This is just a plan right. and I'm letting people know. But at least I'm doing something about it, right? Are you? About yeah, I am. About what? I talk about vaccines and I talk about well, GMOs and I talk your, about your war. Presentation here was yeah, about it is. You're right because we're being lied to about where we about live. Vaccines. And do you even know like why we go to Afghanistan? A challenge to what? What are you doing? Is. What are you doing? I'm asking you some questions right now. Yeah, you are, and now I I'm asking you. Things. What do you I do? do? A lot of things. 
and they're none of your business. Oh, I'm okay. Not on you the won't. Street right you now. won't tell me. I'm, you know, I'm not on, on the street right now <laughs> proposing that the world is flat versus round. You're right. All I'm doing right now is asking you, what is the benefit of you proving the world is flat versus round? Don't you want to know where we live? What is the benefit? What are you doing for the world to make us realize that it's flat? You I guess we'll find out. It. I guess we'll find out, won't we? You don't we? know what's underneath it, do you? you? Neither do you, man, and I can admit that. You don't know. Uh, you're right, I don't. You know what? There's a lot of things we don't know. But why do we go to Afghanistan? You, know you brought up Afghanistan. You know See, what? you there's, won't answer any of my questions, so, but you expect me to answer so yours. You won't you answer any of my questions, right but you won't... Versus sticking a camera and somebody... But how do you know what... ...better for this planet... Whether we don't live on a planet. Round. We don't live on a planet. Well, what do we live on? And I was I was at the I was at the Star Tribune earlier talking about the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation being a fraud. Okay. Well, congratulations. Yeah, because our healthcare you system have, is BS. You've just proven so many fraudulent things in this world. But what are you going to What are you doing? What are you doing? Better? What are you doing? There's a lot of things I do. What are you doing? World better. Like what? No, no. I'm not going to get into that. Like what? I'm okay, so you here Okay, so you won't answer my questions, but no, you expect me to answer I'm yours. I'm here to answer your questions. Okay. But aren't you here Why do we go to war in Afghanistan? Are you here to answer people's questions? Isn't that why why you're out here in the public doing what you're doing? Aren't you here? See you, man. Okay, man. No, I, there's no. You're not. You're not listening to me. Yeah. What are you? What are you doing? You got nothing. You got nothing. What it takes to change this world. Oh, I got so much more than you can even imagine, man. I'm doing so much more. I am making it happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, check out my YouTube channel and see. Uh, see check it out. <laughs> Drink another ten dollar beer from Michelob. Three two beer. All right. Well, yeah, he is possessed. He's possessed by alcohol. Give me a break, right? What am I doing? What am I doing? Are you kidding me, dude? If you're going to watch my YouTube channel, why don't you watch the rest of my stuff, too? Why don't you investigate this cancer society? Why don't you investigate the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation? Why don't you investigate the Federal Reserve? Why don't you investigate vaccines, GMOs, chemtrails? Huh? I don't want any of that crap on my flat earth. I'm coming after you, YouTube, Google, establishment. Are you kidding me? It's people like that that I'm out here for. I'm tired of this. That guy is so brainwashed. Look at how brainwashed he is. What am I doing? Stuff like that just gets me irritated. What am I doing? I'm doing it for that kid right there who's being lied to about where he lives. Being taught about evolution, coming out of a monkey's butt, primordial ooze from billions of years ago. That's a lie. Kids are being taught lies in school. Fraudulent educational system. Sending kids. Oh. What am I doing, he says. Unbelievable. What am I doing? I'm doing everything I can so I don't got to pay taxes on the Federal Reserve. That's what I'm doing. I'm tired of being a slave to this system and my fellow Americans and human beings on Earth being brainwashed by crap like this. 
by this stupid baseball. Gives a rip about baseball. <sighs> what am I doing? He has no idea. He has no idea what this is starting. I am, I just, I'm so... He won't even answer any of my questions. I gotta stand and bow to him and answer his questions, right? Kidding me? Yeah, walk him. People like that think that they're going to detour me and, like, get me to stop, you know? That's... That's the type of people we're up against, folks. That's the type of people we're up against. Why does it matter? Hey, Billy Sunday, thanks for hanging out with me and everybody else in the chat room. Positively godless. So are you, bud. Right back at you. Nicholas Stevens. And you're done. I don't have time for it right now, dude. Get out of here. I gave you the benefit of the doubt, I gave you a wrench, and you're done. Thanks a lot, Flatastic. Appreciate it. Ten dollar beer, exactly. All right, commercial time. Twins are up six to four, coming up on the home stretch of the seventh. Let's get better for everybody's baseball anthem. Take me out to the ball game. I, I, I don't understand why people are not tired of listening to that song. You know, take me out to the ball game, give me a break. Thanks, Nicolet. <laughs> Nicolet. Nicolet. I was on the Nicolet Mall earlier today. Nicholas. Thanks, Robin. Brian. Good to see you. Jose. Yeah, they are so hypnotized. Hey, let's take another picture with Spot the dog so I can calm down. All right. Here we go. I like dogs. I'm allergic to cats. I don't like cats. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out tomorrow. You know, I'm coming out tomorrow. I'm coming out this weekend after I get done with my slave job. <coughs> I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. It's, it can be disheartening, you know? Hey guys, how you doing? Good, good. 
Say, did you know that the earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school? 100%. Please investigate it. Just put a smile on my face, right? <laughs> oh, I got kids here. I'm going to blow these kids' minds right all over the floor. Hey guys, did you know that the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school? New information has come that the earth is flat, okay? All right, dinosaurs never existed. Oh, in... All right, well, I just told you that dinosaurs don't exist. Hey, I could have said Sa uh, Santa Claus doesn't. I think his dad, their dad would have turned around and... <sighs> yeah, I know, right? Leave it to the educational system, right? To talk to your kids, babysit them. Right? Don't talk to my kids. Let them learn from the establishment. You're just some guy. Hey, I do have a University of Minnesota shirt on, so I give off the impression that I went to college. Right? I have a YouTube channel, sir, if you wanted to investigate my idea of the earth being flat and not a ball. I use... Don't... There's a lot of people encouraging me, sir. I'm just openly speaking. The earth being flat, dinosaurs don't exist. Evolution is not real. How you guys doing? Yeah, I'm terrific, thanks. Got the establishment walking by. Hey guys, how you doing? Hi. Hey, terrific. Hey, did you know that satellites don't exist? Yes. I and the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught? Well, they do now. How you doing, folks? Hey, good. Say, you know, some new information has come to light. That, that's a loud fire truck. And that uh, new information is that the Earth is flat, immovable, and not a ball moving through space. Please investigate that idea, okay? This guy looks like a smart chap. Hey, you look like an informed young man. Yeah, what, uh, what do you think about my statement here? What does it say? Satellites don't exist, and the Earth is flat and not oh, a ball. Yeah, no, as soon as I saw that, I was like, that's the flat Earth theory. Hey, yes, I knew you were a smart chap. I don't know, man. I, people that I listen to and stuff like that, they think flat Earth is pretty dumb. Yeah, well, that's the consensus, yeah. but you don't want to be with the majority, man. That's, that's true, you should question things, you shouldn't just go with the majority off top, but at the same time, you got to think about the fact that, you know, ast uh, astrophysicists uh -huh. have been studying this type of stuff for, you know, 500 years, and, and you know, the science that uh, they come up with, they dedicate their lives to and stuff like that, so okay. I'm going to go with them over, like, you know, a newer you know, group of philosophers who kind of have this whole theory. Okay, you know, like, does that sound like faith? Yeah, it's faith and science, yeah. Okay, so is it, are, are you a, like, what would be considered a religious man? No. Okay, so you have faith in science and not, like, a, a book being written by a bunch of guys before yeah, called well, the Bible? Yeah, and, and I think science makes mistakes too, but I have, uh, I have faith in the scientific mm -hmm. process. Okay. Yeah. I do have a YouTube channel, man, and uh, I just really encourage you to check it out. I got some links in the I description. Like the I'm not going to lie, it's cool. Man. Hey, appreciate it, man. Content. Yeah. That's, that's pretty yeah, thanks, man. I do uh, got a couple of uh, links for you to check out, and I just really would hope that it would leave you with an open mind okay. to explore the idea of the Earth being a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught. All right, okay. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. What's your name, man? Sam. Sam. Hey, Joshua. Nice to meet you. Pleasure Joshua. to meet you too. Yeah. Take it easy. <coughs> These gentlemen walked by earlier. I'll see what they have to say here. How you doing, fellas? Good. Good, good. I saw you walking by earlier. I just... Do you, what do you think about my statement of satellites not existing? Why, why do you think 
Um, well, I can give you an ex illustration. Well, I'm sorry, man. But uh, sorry, oh, you're all right. It's just uh, you know foam board or whatever. But uh, does this look like a picture of a real satellite in space? No? This is the best picture I could find of a satellite in space. All of them are CGI computer representations. They're not real. And also all the pictures of Earth from space, official NASA photos through the next thir last 30 years are all CGI. Everything that we get of outer space is not real and is created on a computer. So, yeah, I mean, just something to think about. And I am part of a, a movement called Flat Earthers. We believe the Earth is a flat, motionless plane and not a ball in space. I mean, yeah. It's, it's hard, yeah, I mean, it's hard, man, I know. I do have a YouTube channel. If, uh, oh, that's not it, I'm sorry. This guy is. But uh, you can check out the Ted one. He does uh, some various uh, videos about the ISS and the fakery of space. Did you know that when they do spacewalks, that they're actually in a giant pool to make it appear like they're in outer space? And the ISS, they have like various cables holding the quote actors in the ISS to make it appear that they're... So astronauts aren't really... No, they're not. No. They're actually actors portraying the idea of outer space. So we might actually live in a dome type structure that might be an infinite motionless plane. So, you know, hey, you know, I'm just here to provoke thought, encourage you to investigate my claims, and then you can kind of go from there, you know. So that's really all I'm here for, man. Yeah. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Enjoy. Thanks. All right. So we got a lot of people coming out of the stadium here. They're all going to wait at the stoplight. So we're going to hit them hard with flat earth truth and encourage these people to investigate the idea of the earth being flat and not a ball. A lot of people assume the Twins are going to win, I guess. Yeah, I know, right? The fluoride stare. The vaccine stare. How y'all doing? Hey, the Earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school, okay? Flat Earth. Hey, there's new evidence to show that the Earth is flat and not a ball. Brand new evidence. I'm sorry? Oh, sure, yeah, my bad. Yep, the Earth is flat and motionless. We've never been to outer space or the moon. A lot of people here. Have you ever investigated the idea of the Earth being flat? and not a ball like we're taught in school. Some new evidence has come to light to show that the Earth is a motionless plane and not a ball. How do you feel about the Montana earthquake that happened today? Uh, it's an earthquake. That could have ended the world. Uh, I don't think so, sir. Have you heard about the Yellowstone Caldera? Yep. You should look into that. I have looked into it. And that's time that rumbles. Yeah, that's fear-mongering, sir, and that's not going to happen. No, I used to live Okay, that's great. But I do have uh, a YouTube channel to help you investigate the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball, like we're taught in school. We have all been deceived by our government about where we live, man. Please investigate the idea of the Earth being flat. New information, flat Earth. Hope you all have a good, safe trip home. Flat Earth, how you doing? Satellites don't exist. Yeah, everybody smokes and is overweight. How you doing, bud?
Got a lot of people coming out now. Uh, probably about 20,000 people. So I can't hit them all, but I will hit them all in the forehead with red pills. How you doing, bud? Some new information has come to light that the Earth is flat, immovable, and motionless, and not a ball in outer space. We've never been to the moon, and we cannot go to Mars. The idea of going to Mars is a lie. How you fellas doing? Good, how you doing? Hey, terrific. Did the twins win? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? You guys are leaving before the game's over. All right. Playing hooky, huh? They're running. Why are they leaving from the game? Right? They pay like 50 bucks for these tickets. Some new information has come to light that the Earth is flat and motionless and not a ball like we're taught. Outer space is fake and the Earth is flat. I know it sounds funny at first, but I would encourage you to check out the flat Earth idea. 200 proofs that the Earth is not a spinning ball. 200 proofs. 200 ideas that the Earth is not a spinning ball in outer space. Guys, have a safe trip home. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Will the real flat earthers please stand up? Hey, look at this. We got more people coming by. Yeah, right? Hey, did you know our home is as flat as the baseball field and not a ball in outer space like the baseball itself? Yeah. Satellites don't exist and outer space is fake. 100%. Some new information has come to light that the Earth is a motionless plane and not a spinning ball like we're taught in school. Evolution is fake. And not Prove real. it! Uh, I can if you want to dialogue with me for a minute. That science is yelling into my camera? Okay, well I can prove it actually. All the pictures that you get of outer space are CGI. Outer space is computerized and not real. The Earth is a flat, motionless plane like the baseball field y'all saw. Well, that's your opinion until you research it, right? Don't take what you learned in school, sir. The Earth is flat. Have a nice trip home, sir. Stay safe. Wear your seatbelt. Nobody landed on the moon, and outer space is fake. It's just us. There are no aliens, and the Earth is a flat, motionless plane, and not a ball like we're taught. The world's oval. Hey, what's up, man? With the Pentagon around it. <laughs> well, I don't know about all that, but... See you later, FBI. That was the FBI guy from earlier. I know, right? How you doing? Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught? I know, right? New in new information. I yeah, that doesn't prove that the Earth is spinning, and it's never been proven. Like a Pez dispenser. I'm a Pez dispenser of red pills, folks. The Earth is flat and not a spinning ball like we're taught. Some new information has come to light recently. The Earth has never been proven to spin, and gravity is just a theory. Outer space is fake, and we've never landed on the moon. We have been deceived. I know. I'm so. I know. I'm here handing out red pills, waking people up. Satellites don't exist. Everything you get from outer... Baby, that's not That's not science, though. Ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance. New information has come to light. It is a Big Bang Theory, yeah. 
Evolution is fake and they have deceived your minds. Please wake up. I can't, I can't implore you enough to investigate the idea that the Earth is flat, not a ball like we're taught. I wouldn't be standing here <coughs> and have over 80 hours of content to share my idea and my thoughts with the community. You guys have a safe trip home? How y'all doing? Great. Has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth is not moving? and spinning, it's never been measured. But they tell you that we live on a ball in outer space. I can't encourage you enough to investigate the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. Evolution is not real. We were made by a creator, and we may or may not live in an infinite plane with an infinite dome. Outer space is fake. And everything you get about outer space is from Hollywood. And it's all CGI. The moon is not a physical object to be landed on. And if you believe we landed on the moon, please investigate the claims that I'm making. Go home patiently and look up Flat Earth. Hope you guys all make it home safely tonight. I so want these people to wake up. So want these people to wake up. How you guys doing? Hey, terrific. I'm excellent, thank you. I'm just letting everybody know that satellites don't exist. Yeah, everything we get about outer space is CGI. And the Earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school. Some new information has come to light the last couple of years that the Earth is a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught. Gravity is not real, it's just a theory and it's never been proven. And it's never been proven that we live on a spinning ball in outer space. That is 100% fact. And I would encourage you to investigate the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball and satellites don't exist. 100%. Well, hey, until you investigate it, it is just my opinion, right? And so if we're just... If we're just taught one idea in school of the Earth being... Satellite what? What are you selling? Smile. What are you selling? I'm not selling anything. I'm selling knowledge and information. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's free. What's your knowledge and information? The Earth is flat and not a ball. Here you go, I have a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. No? It's free. Hey folks, how you doing? Yeah, did you know that some new information has come to light that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school? Oh no! Are you for real just saying that out loud? I'm 100%. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's never, been, it's never been proven that we live on a spinning ball. It hasn't. Yeah, and grab these pictures in the sky. Which are CGI? Yeah, wow. Good luck to you. I have a picture of the Earth from outer space right here and it's fake. Good luck with your opinion. Well, it is my opinion until you research it yourself. Which is totally up to you. That's the best part about America is you're entitled to your opinion. Have you ever heard the idea that the Earth is flat and not a ball, sir? I saw the Truman Show. The, the Truman Show is called predictive programming. That means that it might be true. They actually give us more truth in movies than they do in our textbooks. Hey, ma'am, how was the game? Good. Hey, terrific. Did we win? Not yet. Not yet? Well, do you want to be a winner? No, thank you. Okay, well, if you investigate the idea of the Earth being flat and motionless and not a ball like we're taught, you will be a winner. So check it out. I do have a YouTube channel. You want to check it out? You're live right now on YouTube. Did you want to check it out, ma'am? You're a teacher, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, well, you're told what to teach, ma'am. No, if you were to teach I'm the earth. I'm tired, I went through it all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, flat earth, ma'am. Oh, flat earth or yeah. No, flat earth. Oh, the flat yeah. Right yeah. Right yeah, well, it's never been proven that the earth is spinning or moving. No, I guess you're right. So, and gravity is just a theory. So. <clears throat> hey, folks, how you doing? Hey, terrific. Did you know that some new information has come to light in the last couple of years that the Earth is flat and immovable and outer space is fake? We've never been to the moon and we cannot land on Mars. So when they tell you that we're going to Mars in 2030, they're lying to you. 100%. And dinosaurs don't exist. How about that? Just kick that out there for you. A little strawberry on top. A little strawberry. <clears throat> Yeah, the funny thing is, is that they teach you in school at a very young age to make fun of the flat earth idea. And then now that I'm talking about it openly, I get mocked and ridiculed, even though nobody's actually investigated the idea of the earth being flat and motionless, because it's never been proven that we live on a spinning ball. All your pictures from outer space are fake CGI images done by Disney. And your imagination of outer space comes at a very young age from Hollywood. You cannot get the images of outer space out of your head because they are implanted in your memories from Hollywood. I know it's really hard to believe and some new information has come to light so just encourage you to check out the idea of the earth being flat. You don't want to be the last one to be believing that we live on a globe. Hope you all make it home safely tonight. I should be wearing that guy's shirt, Reckless. Nice shirt, man. I'm reckless at letting people know that the Earth is flat and motionless and not a ball like we're taught in school. Outer space is fake and we never landed on the moon. We were deceived about landing on the moon. Please look up Flat Earth. Hey, at least we got some good music, right? I mean, he was playing that Stevie Ray Vaughan riff for a little too long, huh? <laughs> Does he play over there very often? Or? Yeah. I checked him out for like three or four minutes when I first got here, but it was just all Stevie Ray Vaughan. And I was like, do you got anything else, man? He's like, no. That Jameson kid, though, down there, he's pretty good. Yeah. Hey folks, how you doing? Good. Good. Did you know that some new information has come to light that we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball? Well, you do now. How you doing, man? Did you know that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught? Hey, he's got... Is that an Albert Einstein shirt? Uh, well, that guy's a fraud, too. Who may or may not have existed, right? Thank you very much. Have a good day. Yeah, well, he's right. It is. It does get pretty stale. Listen to that same rift over and over again. <sighs> you know what I've seen today? I think I've seen about six or seven ambulances. Hey, if you're new here today, hit that like button. How you doing, man? Hey, some new information has come to light. Uh, we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught in school. I don't think you're right. You don't think I'm right? No, you're wrong as hell. You think so, huh? Have you ever investigated the idea, though? I've been in the mood. Uh, well, maybe with some recreational drugs. Wait, you actually think the world's flat? I 100% believe that we do not live on a spinning ball. That's wrong as fuck. Well, it's never been measured we do, though. It's never measured. Uh, that's true. Zone. To not, each I'm, their own. I'm not, I'm not on you. I, hey, I totally, right on. I respect everything. No, I totally but understand. I yeah, disagree. I do have a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. No, I, I got. I disagree with it. Well, whether you disagree or not, if you haven't investigated it, 
that's the you height of yeah I have that's why I'm here man how have you investigated it? well we don't live on a spinning ball how do you know that? You because outer know? space is fake you've been up there uh, I don't have to be why not yeah because we outer space is fake man everything that you get about outer space is Bro, CGI I can see the stars that's here. a black sky and those are lights in the sky that doesn't prove anything that just proves that those are lights right <laughs> Uh, well, I'm having fun letting people I know. know. You, and I, and I, I love that. Hey, I appreciate love it, man. Story, honestly, I love every bit of that. That's Thanks, awesome. man. What's your That's name? Great. I'm Riley. What's your Riley, name? Riley, Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. I'll see you around. You yeah, you as well, man. Take it easy. Stay safe, man. Hey, you as well. Thanks. Second, go this way. I'm sorry. Second, go this way. You know, I don't know, man. I'm not 100% uh, familiar. Those those fellas might know. But if you want to know uh, the earth is flat, not a ball, I can let you know about that. Oh, uh, well, you do now. Hey, well, that's uh, better than a no. Hey, did the twins win? Oh, no. Did you know that the earth is flat? Hey, did you know that some new information has come to light the last uh, year that uh, the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught? Snow? Hey, Snow. Hey, how's it going, Spider-Man? Nope. Hey, did you know that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school? <laughs> Cheers. My yes. Yeah, satellites don't exist, ma'am. No. 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 Man, that's fine. He, he's misinformed. Hey folks, do you believe that we landed on the moon? Okay, did you know that it's just a light in the sky and the earth is flat and not a ball? Yep, well, you'll figure, you'll find out later. Uh oh. Hang on a second. That would have been bad news bears. I had a 5% battery. Good thing I brought my battery pack. Yeah, he said GPS, right? Hey, folks, how you doing today? Great, how are you? Hey, I can't complain. It's a beautiful day letting people know the earth is flat and not a ball. <clears throat> Littering. Hey guys, how you doing? Did the twins win? All right, well the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. And outer space is fake. Too cool for school. Too cool for school. Some pretty ladies here might want to be informed. Hey ladies, how you doing? Hey, terrific. Did you know that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught? Yeah, it is, 100%. <coughs> Don't run away from truth, come back. Don't run away, why are you running away from the truth? Has the idea ever crossed your mind that the Earth is a flat, immovable plane and not a ball like we're taught in school? Everything that you get about outer space is CGI. Next time you look at something from outer space given to you by NASA, use your discernment and see that it's a computer image. It's not real. And when you see a satellite orbiting Jupiter, who's taking a picture of the satellite? The ISS is a fake stage in a zero-G airplane called the Vomit Comet. I hope you guys have a good, wonderful night. Drive safe. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, folks, how you doing? Hey, not too bad. Myself? Uh, do you believe that we landed on the moon? Satellites don't exist. No, I, I work for a television company. You do? There's a lot of them. Well, there aren't, sir. Yeah. They're all actually CGI images of outer space. Yeah. This is a satellite in outer space, sir. That's a CGI image. You are so wrong. 
TV for 40 years. Yep. Come over to see me tomorrow morning. Where are you? Ramp. Which 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 station? You come over. Well, which station? You got to tell me where you work so I can go there. Cuz I will. I was at the Star Tribune this morning. Yeah, you can ask me, dude. I'm right here. Okay. No, they're not, sir. They're not. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm really. I apologize to letting you know, man. But we've never landed on the moon. Outer space is fake, and you. We were all deceived. I'm. I'm. We were all deceived, man. I. I once thought it was crazy too. But the Earth has never been. It's never been proven that the Earth is spinning. And gravity is not real. It's not. It's a theory, man. And I got another one for you. Dinosaurs don't exist. Yeah. There is not a. There's not a. I love you. I know. I love you too, man. That's why I'm here. There is not a a 100% skeleton of a dinosaur in a museum right now. Well, hey, I'd come to your work, man. You offered, but you won't tell me where you work, so... What are you filming? Uh, I'm letting people know the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. Yeah. Well, investigate it. Ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance, so laughter will get you nowhere. Okay, he's been doing that rift for, like, too long. Hey, folks, how you doing? Yep, satellites don't exist, and the Earth is a flat, motionless plane, and not a ball like we're taught. Boom! Kaboom! Kaboom! All right, let's uh, let's change up the scenery here. I think he's trying to regulate on me. Yeah, this is public property, and Frank sent me, right? Oof, I need a break. Anybody got a Kit Kat I can have? <laughs> hey, don't be scared, Nicholas. It's all good. Hey, folks. Good to see ya. That was quite a run, huh? It's probably there for about 30 minutes or so. Good to see ya. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by and hanging out. I'm just throwing out red pills like Pez dispensers. Or something along that lines. I'm gonna uh, switch up the location. <coughs> Look at all these people here. All right. So we got all these people waiting for the train. Come on, ride the train, and ride it. Hey, DRTH. Hey, how you doing, man? Good. Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth is a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught in school? No, I'm interested. Yeah, hey, right on, man. Uh, what do you, th have you ever, have, have you ever investigated the idea of flat Earth? I mean, like, the rapper BLB tweeted about it a couple times, that's not Sure, I mean, but... Uh, all the images that we get of outer space are CGI. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, so when you Google image satellites in space, that's what you get is a CGI image of a satellite in space. All of your pictures of Earth from space are photoshopped and created on a computer. Why does it matter though? Well, do you not want to know where we live though, 100%? I mean... I mean, I can't explain to you why it matters, that's why I'm here. It's taken me 18 months to understand why it matters for me. And so for you and I to have grown up thinking that the, we live in a ball, and then to get away from that idea, that's why I have passion to come out and just inform the public. Don't we have like images of other planets and like, can't we see the moon? Yeah, they're all CGI, man. And the moon is not a physical object to be landed on. It's not? No, it's not. It's just a light in the sky just like the sun, and they are actually local. The sun is a local light, not 93 million miles away. So you're saying that no one's landed on the moon? I'm saying 100% all the astronauts who tell you that are liars. Uh, well, I know it is, but ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance. So, I do have a YouTube channel. 
you and I got some links in the description below so you can check out on your own time. Yeah, like I'm not gonna argue, I was just kinda like curious to hear what you Oh I appreciate about. your curiosity. What's your name? James. James, Joshua. Nice to meet you. Yeah, real pleasure to meet you too, man. Hope you guys make it home safely and I'll check out your channel. Check it out, man. Thanks, James. Hey ma'am, how are you today? Good, I'm doing terrific. I'm just hanging out letting people know that the earth is flat and motionless and not a ball like we're taught in school. Yeah, so just a heads up, investigate the idea of the earth being flat, all right? You know, whether tonight or tomorrow, check it out. Satellites don't exist. Yeah. Do you guys watch YouTube very much? No, I have a YouTube channel if you ever are so inclined to venture on YouTube. I talk about the earth being flat and not a ball. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. And if you want your uh, uh, a video or your channel on the links in the description below, just email me, fullbatteryobsessed at gmail.com. I'd love to put your information on the bottom. So when I hand out people when I hand people my uh, YouTube channel, they can come by and check out your stuff. I do have some stuff down below. Hang on just a second, I gotta readjust. <laughs> okay. Asthmatic, good to see ya. Yeah, or send it to me through uh, Facebook. I'll definitely uh, check out your YouTube channel. Yeah, it was on Facebook uh, for the first month or so. And then uh, I found out once I got uh, Found out that once I got a hundred subscribers, I could go live. I thought it was two a thousand, but how you doing, guys? Satellites don't exist. Has that ever crossed your mind that they don't exist? No. Did you know that if you Google image right now, uh, satellites in space, all you get are CGI images that look like this. Everything you get about outer space is CGI. It's not real. Me, I don't even believe it went to the moon. Hey, right on, man. I don't really believe it went to the I don't either, man. I believe it's just a light in the sky and not a physical object that can be landed on. I, I, I just don't think that we, I, there's not enough gas in the world to take a vessel from here to, we're talking about... 239,000 miles, miles, yeah. Not, not even a Toyota Corolla. We're talking about rocket fuel. Yeah. A ro you know how fast rocket fuel burns? And 200,000 miles in a round trip? Yeah. What, did they stop at some other star yeah. to get a refill? Right. How did they get the back? Yeah. How did yeah. they get back? So how did they land on the moon? Let me get this straight. It takes a whole team of NASA personnel, like 500 people to make a one launch yeah. from here to go to the moon. So, so who's helping them up there <laughs> to come back? It just doesn't make any, it doesn't add up to me. Yeah, all. right on there. I got a YouTube channel explaining more. And I do live street interviews often. What's your name, man? Uh, I'll check it out. I look at these conspiracy sites quite a bit, though. Hey. Authentic in Intent? Is yeah, that that's my channel, yeah. Authentic Intent? Yeah. Okay. You all yeah, from Baltimore? Um, no, we're from D.C. area. D.C. area, okay. Yeah. 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 So, so your campaign is a satellite? Uh, no, it's just basically I end up talking about the Earth being flat and not a ball. Outer space is all CGI'd. And yeah, we never landed on the moon, and evolution is fake. Yeah, man. What's your name? Well, I, I don't want to. I don't. You don't want to shake my hand, though. No, I'll shake your okay, hand. Okay, right on. I just don't, don't want to be filmed. That's cool, man. My name's Joshua. Have a good afternoon, man. Yeah. <coughs> DC area. See, at baseball games, we get all sorts of people. Baseball games. 
So we'll get some more get some more uh, baseball fans up here. DC area. See, we're hitting them all over the place at this sporting event. That's why I like coming to this area. Look at all these people. I can't. Um, I can't talk to all these people though. It sucks. <laughs> hmm. Hey, you too, man. Hmm. I think all these people are gonna go to the train. So I gotta go back to that corner because that's the one place I got them standing. <clears throat> hey guys, the earth is flat. The earth is flat. The earth is flat and not a ball. Check it out. We'll go back down to this intersection. The earth is flat. Boom. Let's go back down to this intersection because all the people behind me are trying to catch the train and then they won't want to talk to me. But at this intersection, they have no choice because they got to stop for the train. Hey, bud, how you doing? Good. Has it ever crossed your mind that the earth is flat and not a ball? Yeah, it is flat. Yeah, yeah. I do have a... Uh, you like YouTube? Yes. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel, bud. Check it out, man. I talk about flat earth. Nice. Hey, you're welcome, bud. You guys live in Minnesota? Yeah. Cool. I live in Seattle. You live in Seattle? Wow, that's a far away trip. I do you need You do. It's flat in Seattle too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, you gotta go up there and to the right. Up where? Yeah, up straight ahead. Which which that one are you trying to go? Going back to all America. Okay, blue or green line, red line? Blue line, yep, it's straight up there. So that way? Yes. Okay. yes. Yep. See, See you guys, have a good night. Now I got that stupid song in my head. He's still playing that riff. Come on, dude. I mean, he's got that and... Is that a Stevie Ray Vaughan song too? Look at all these people in Missinona. Dang it. Satellites don't exist, but yep. outer space is fake, and the Earth is flat and motionless and not a ball, like we were taught. Well, I know it's, it's funny until you investigate it. No, I'm just. Yeah, it's new. It's new information. Investigate it on your own time, man. Have a good one. Travel safe. Boom. The Earth is flat and not a ball. Outer space is fake. And we never landed on the moon. If you have not investigated the idea of the Earth being flat, go home tonight or tomorrow, or the weekend, Google flat Earth, and you will wake up to the new information that we do not live on a spinning ball hurtling millions of miles through space. Do you believe we landed on the moon, sir? The moon is just a light in the sky and not a physical object that can be landed on, and it's not cheese. Okay, well, that's not science. Hey guys, how you doing? New information. Flat Earth, not Ball Earth. Hope you guys have a good, safe trip home. Google Flat Earth. The idea of Flat Earth and not a spinning ball in outer space. Flat Earth. The Earth is not a spinning ball in outer space. It is a flat, motionless plane. You know what's sketchy is being taught? You, we live on a spinning ball and not a flat plane. That's sketchy. The Earth is flat and not a ball. New information for you to check out. And satellites don't exist. Satellites don't exist because outer space is fake and we live on a flat motionless plane and not a ball like we were taught in school. And here's some frosting on that cake. Dinosaurs don't exist. 
evolution is fake, and so is the moon landing. How you doing? Well, that may be, but ridicule before investigation, sir, is the height of ignorance, and I encourage you to check out a idea of the flat, motionless plane and not a spinning ball. The Earth is not a ball in space. Evolution is not real. How you guys doing? Good, good, man. Uh, have you ever investigated the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball like we were taught in school? No, not yet. Not yet? Well, can I encourage you to do so? I, yeah, I do have a YouTube channel if you wanted to check out. Okay, well, Google Flat Earth, all right, man? Hey, ladies, how you doing? I'm believable. Hey, I'm doing great. I'm just letting people know that satellites don't exist and the Earth is a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught in school. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, I have a YouTube channel, so you can investigate my well, claims. Actually, I got a smoke. It's been like eight hours. Hey, well, you know, the, learning that the Earth is flat might save your life. Because cigarettes, cigarettes certainly won't. All right, well. Hey, folks, how you doing? Terrific. The Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. Hey, number one. Hey, all right. She dressed up for a baseball game. I need a. I need a. Let Rob will take. Satellites don't exist. Outer space is fake, and we've never been to the moon. And the Earth is a flat, motionless plane, and not a ball like we're taught in school. I do have a YouTube channel if you wanted to check it out, man. I got some links in the description below and just get more informed, yeah. Because what we're taught in school about evolution and the Earth from outer space, it's all fake. Yeah, I just encourage you guys to uh, investigate my claims. Just Google Flat Earth. I'm part of a massive community that is waking up America to this new information. I do have a... Uh, why well, you got your phone out, I got a YouTube channel. So if you want to check it out while you're gone. The earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. You can have a new subscriber. Hey, right on man, appreciate it. Tell your friends. Will do. I thought the earth was a triangle. Yeah, well I thought the earth was something that it's not e to also, so. All right, flat earth. Investigate the idea of flat earth. The earth is flat. Hello. Yeah, it is. I'm so sorry. Not sorry. The earth is flat and not a ball. The earth is flat. Check out the idea of the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. And we never landed on the moon because it's just the light in the sky. Outer space is fake. Evolution is fake. And the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. How you doing? Hulk Alden! Hey, I got, a, I got a YouTube channel, man. You should check it out. Or walk away. See? Well, that's confirmation for him, right? How you doing, fellas? Hey, I can't complain. Do you guys like Star Wars? Yes, satellites don't exist. Yeah, everything about outer space is CGI and fake. We never landed on the moon. Yeah, it is. I used to work on that stuff. Well, that doesn't prove that the Earth is spinning, though. The Earth has never been proven to be spinning, and we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught in school. I do have a YouTube channel if you'd be so inclined to investigate my claims, man. No, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. well, Thank ridicule you. before investigation is the height of ignorance, so... Don't believe everything you're taught in school, man. 90% of it is fraud. So, I just encourage you to check it out. Rut row. Guy got caught up in his wheelchair. <clears throat> How you doing, sir? Yeah, satellites don't exist. Really? Yeah. That's too bad. Oh, it is. And the Earth is flat and not a ball. There is one. Take care of Bill. <clears throat> hey, high five for the Earth being flat and not a ball, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, right on. Check it out. Google it, okay? Run! Don't run away from truth. I got massive amounts of information for you. Hey, the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. 
Check it out, the Earth is flat. We never landed on the moon. It's fake. It's just a light in the sky. How you doing? Has, has it ever crossed your mind that we're not on a spinning ball? Because it's never been measured. We might actually live on a flat, motionless plane. Flat, motionless plane, not a ball. Just saying. Hey, well, and I got a YouTube channel. No? Okay. Sure, yeah. But the Earth is flat and not a ball because everything of outer space is CGI, not real. Yeah. Use your discernment, please. We've never landed on the moon. Yes. No, no. Not at all. So how are we here? We were created. By who? I don't know. Uh, I believe that it was the biblical God, personally. Oh and he only made earth and He heaven. only made us. So what yes. About the sun? We are special. What about the, the, sun? the sun is a localized light, not 93 million miles away. What about the moon? The moon is just a light in the sky. What about the stars? They're just lights in the sky. They're not we're not we're not here to dominate the sky. Just investigate flat earth, okay? How you doing? The, the earth is flat and not a ball. Check it out. <coughs> hey, Stevie Ray Vaughan, you haven't heard this before, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school. It's new information that outer space is fake. Everything they give us about outer space is CGI and not real. And we never landed on the moon. You know, satellites don't exist. Can I get a picture of myself? Yeah, sure, man. Oh, well. I think you're full of shit. You, well, that's your opinion until you investigate hey, it, right? No, I'm full. I get my own opinion, right? Yeah, sure. Let okay, me, great. Oh, I'm sorry. Let All me right. uh, hold on a second. Yeah. Science. Hold on. Science. Oh no, no. I just gotta get it. There we go. Okay. Hey, uh, science is proven facts of what you have to present. So I'm more than willing to discuss anything you have to present. Okay. I got a YouTube channel, and I'd love yes, to have thanks. you come by. Have a good week. Drive safe. Do even science, bro. Hey guys, the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. Check it out. Yeah, man. We never landed on the moon either. And evolution is a fraud. So, hey. The earth is flat and not a ball. I'm running out of Pez here. Red pills. Has it ever crossed your mind that we don't live on a spinning ball because it's never been measured? And that the Earth is a flat, motionless plane and satellites don't exist? Everything that we get about outer space is CGI and not real. Please, please I encourage you to investigate flat Earth, okay? Drive safely. How you doing, man? Did the twins win? Hey, right on. Uh, have you ever crossed your mind that satellites don't exist? No, I got direct TV. Hey, well, that doesn't mean that satellites do exist, man. Everything that we get about satellites in outer space are CGI. Do you have a card? I do, man. All right, yeah. I'll take a card. I'm a little drunk. Hey, that's all right, man. I totally understand. Hand it out to your friends and family if you don't. It's a piece of paper. Yeah, it is a piece of paper, but that's my YouTube channel. Authentic Intent. So just type that into YouTube. Where do you get your information? Uh, from the same people that you get your information, only the opposite. Well, Google, YouTube. Well, yeah. What's the opposite of Google and YouTube? Uh, mainstream media. Yeah, so I just encourage you to just check out the idea of the Earth being flat and motionless and not a ball like oh, we're taught. Flat I am 100% flat earther. So what's at the end of the flat earth? Uh, I don't know, man. It might be an infinite plane, actually. But there is. You can literally see the curvature of the Earth, though. Uh, you can, because the top picture is 130,000 feet, and I don't see a curve, man. You ever been like a boat? I'm just saying the picture on the top oh, is I from 130,000 feet. Hey, I have a question though. Yeah. That's a lot of haziness and mist. You can't tell where the curve is because there's cloud. Yeah. Well, funny thing is, is a lot of people say they can see the curve from the beach, and I don't see it either. And you don't see it from the top at 130,000 feet. The curve doesn't go like this. It's gonna go like this. So you're not gonna see the edge. Yeah, I know, man. It's new information. I just encourage you no, to check it out, man. I, I, I'm yeah. not saying it's new information, but the curve would actually go down. So 
you're not gonna see the curve because you're seeing this point. You're not gonna see, it's not like this. It's not like that. I mean, that's obvious because there'd be a wall. That's not how it works. It's, the curve would be, you would see the edge because the curve is always gonna go. So like, no matter what you're gonna see, it's gonna look flat because of the curve. What's your name? My name's Tyler. Tyler, I'm Joshua, and the top picture is from 130,000 feet, and there's again, no curvature. Again, there's clouds. There's see no curvature, man. No, there's clouds, there's haze. You're not gonna see it. See, you're not showing. I, I, I mean, know, honestly, I know this doesn't I, make I, any I, sense I, to I, you I, right I, now. No, it's not making sense. It's not yeah. that sounding sense. Sure. It's that this isn't a clear picture. So what you're seeing is clouds, haze, different things. If you showed a hundred percent clear picture, with okay. zero pixelation at all, I you, can, you can't. Tell you but it, because of atmosphere and the limitations yes, but, on a lens. But, but then you're saying that the reason why no. you believe something is because no, of I'm the not. atmosphere. I'm the saying that that picture is 130,000 feet. But you and they tell us, they tell right, us whatever, from whatever. the equation that they give us, 35,000 feet, we should see curvature. You can't tell there's curvature because there's clouds, there's haze, there's zero definition in you this You want to see a curve. I know you do, man. I've been into this for 18 months. What are months. you seeing in this picture? There's no curvature, man. Because there's no definition in your Water picture. doesn't curve, man. I could take a picture of your face with gravity. one pixel re resolution. No, gravity and doesn't exist. Your face doesn't exist. Are you on the ground? Because I weigh more than the air around me. Gravity is a theory. All right, all right. You do know that, right? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. I do have a uh, YouTube channel if you want to check it out, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Wait, do you know this guy? Hold on. I've been arguing about flat earth all day. Hey, do it, man. No, wait, yeah. you know, hold on, do you know this guy? Hold on, yeah, let me check it out. Do you know Jake, you know Jake Gibson? I do, flat earth asshole. Yeah. 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 He was part of your community. He's not part of your community anymore. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know him personally. So yeah, I've been arguing with this guy named Mr. Han. Uh, he's from my area about flat Earth. Okay. We were talking about, like, he keeps saying, science, observable, verifiable, repeatable. We've been offering to get together with him, take him out on the boat, sure. and kind of go over the horizon, go over the different things. Yeah. But he, he's refusing sure. to do it. Okay. I just wish he would come out. Well, he does live in California, right? No, no, no. This guy lives in... No, no. Different guys. Oh, okay. This guy, the this Hans guy lives guy. in Baltimore. Okay. So he, he lives there. I gotcha. I was, me and my friends are working to send a meetable. Hey, he's okay. pretty hard to come by here. I got one. And oh, believing shit. it. Yeah. He just he just refuses. He only so, like, responds with memes and different things. Sure. He doesn't respond with, like, actual, like, scientific kind of shit. Sure. He just calls everything, like, sway to science. Yeah. But the minute... Where are you? I believe in the moon hoax. Okay. So I'm a conspiracy person. I did, I did. So I will. So, I, so I'll take something. If yeah. It's uh, you know, verifiable. But but what about outer space, it. man? And then it's all CGI and everything. I don't have been there. I'm gonna send a. Go, I'm gonna yeah. send. I'm gonna get a GoFundMe. Yeah. And then we'll get a GoFundMe for this guy Christopher. And we'll send him up to space. And he can <laughs> He's a flat earther. He'll report back and he'll tell him. Yeah, yeah sure. Right? Yeah. Anyway, so hey, let's talk to you, buddy. What's your name? Uh, my name's Bobby. Bobby Joshua. Yeah, nice good to see you, man. Have a good one. Travel safe, man. I don't like Siberia Bond anymore. I do not like Siberia Bond anymore. Well, what do you think? I think that's the rest of the riffraff. Coming out. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. Becky, good to see ya. Plain Truth, Billy. How you doing? Good. Good. Hey, have you ever thought of the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball like we were taught in school? I know better. I'm sorry? I know better. You know better. You know, it's never been measured that the Earth is spinning. I have taken a boat from America to England many times and it has never fallen off. Well, you're not going to fall off because the Earth is an infinite plane in my opinion. And it's never been proven that we're spinning. How do you know we're on a spinning ball, man? You don't. Gravity is fake. The Earth is flat. The Earth is flat and not a ball, sir. Yep. Take it easy. Take it easy. The Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught, folks. Have a safe trip home. Please wake up. Please, please. Please, please wake up. Please, please wake up. Please, please wake up. Please, please wake up. Meow, meow. I hate you. How you doing, guys? Hey, hey.
Hey, hey, did you know that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school? I've heard about that. Kyrie Irving was talking about that. Well, yeah, sure, yeah. And uh, LeBron James confirmed it. I got a YouTube channel if you'd be so inclined to check it out. Right on, man. Hi. Did you want to uh, be on TV? I got a YouTube channel. Okay, well, the Earth is flat. The Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught, okay? Kyrie Irving, right? That's a... That's a credible source, I guess. More credible than me. Hey, how y'all doing? Hi. Hey, so I got a question for you. Uh, did you know that there's new information that has come to light that we live on a spinning ball, uh, a flat earth and not a spinning ball? And yeah, has it ever crossed your mind? No? Yeah, flat earth. So I do have a YouTube channel. Check it out. Then you can invest. Yeah, then you can investigate my claims. Yeah. Do you know that we live on a spinning ball? Like, how how do you know that? Because <laughs> you learned it in school, right? Yeah, I learned that idea also. And the last 18 months, I've been part of a community that is starting to understand that we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we were taught. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> do I look beautiful in the Hey, you do. You look very beautiful. You know, hey. So, yeah, so investigate that at, uh, information, okay? Yeah. All right. I'll totally take it. Okay. Nice yeah, you too. I'm Joshua. What's your name? Erica. Erica. Good to see you. you too. Travel safely tonight. Yeah, I'm clearly getting tired because I'm fumbling up my words now. I'm sure somebody will, uh, download and save that interaction, right? He said the earth was a ball. Ah. Oh, we got some more people coming down, so let's hang out here for a second. Ta-da! And we're back. All right. So I think, uh, I think that's it. I think that is about it, folks. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Oof. I'll walk by this uh, train stop here real quick on my way to my train and go back to my car. I really appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. All of your support and encouragement. Check it out. Check it out. Man, this was fun. One of my longest episodes so far, about three and a half hours. That's uh Alright. Just let people know. There's some new information that has come to light recently that the earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school. Just encourage everybody to research flat earth. Have you ever, uh, do you believe that we landed on the moon, sir? Yes and no. Yes and no, yeah. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from, man. I do have a YouTube channel. If you'd like to check it out, I, I do share information about the earth being flat, motionless, and not a ball like we're taught. So, it's kind of some new information, but... Okay, cool. Yeah, so... Great, thanks. Yeah, you have a safe trip home, guys. Yeah. Thanks. How you doing? Satellites don't exist, all right? They don't. No, they don't. No. no. Do you know that everything that we get about outer space is CGI and not real? Oh, is that a fact? I mean, it is a fact, actually, because this is a picture of a satellite in space, and it's CGI. And all of the pictures of Earth. Star Wars. Well, yeah, Star Wars gives you the idea of outer space, but it's fake. Wow. So, has, has it ever crossed your mind that we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we were taught in school? Now you're just being nonsense. Uh, well, I could, well, if I'm being nonsense, I could say that dinosaurs never existed, but, you know, yeah. I could say that. I do have a YouTube channel. No, thanks. Okay. No, probably won't. Sure, um, but I do encourage you to investigate the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball. 
Okay. Because NASA gets $19.5 billion to give us CGI images it's of just outer space. Peanuts, isn't it? Right. It's absolutely nothing. Well, it is something. They get a lot more than that, shouldn't they? No, they shouldn't get any money, actually. I, and if that was my choice, I'd shut them down and uh, put everybody to trial who went to outer, who says that they went to outer space and imprison them for life. Because they're all liars. So, yeah, well, it is a bummer. So, have a good afternoon. I'm sorry? No, I don't vote for anybody, man. Because your votes don't count. The establishment has already predetermined who's going to win. So, if you believe that your votes count, can I just encourage you to back away from that type of uh, activity? Okay. Oh, well, I can suggest it. So. <clears throat> Hey, while you got your cell phone on, uh, can I just encourage you to Google image satellites in space? And if you find a real picture of a satellite in outer space, I'll buy you dinner. Bye. Are you serious? Yeah, because there are no real pictures of outer space, I'm of satellites. A you are? Yes. Okay, but what does that prove? It proves. Broad term that can mean anything orbiting a planet, which means rocks. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Sure, like, yeah. Those exist. But but that doesn't prove that satellites that can use your for communication purposes are real. How do you think you're using your phone? Ground towers and fiber optics. Yeah, I do have a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. And Hugh, no, well, I know you, that might be your opinion. Why don't Why don't you actually do some science and figure shit out? I wish that you would and figure out that the earth is flat and not a ball. PhD. You're a dumbass. But that doesn't prove that anything. It proves if you think the world is flat, fucking get a life. The earth has never been proven to be spinning though. Oh my god, you're so dumb. Okay, well, that's your opinion. And uh just walk this way. Because they're all getting on the train. Let the mockery hey, how you doing? She's not happy. She probably found out the earth was flat and she just didn't want to tell me. If I never hear a Stevie Ray Vaughan song in my life again, it'll be too soon. PhD, I know, right? I have a PhD and I'm drunk off of $50 of, you know, 3 2 beer at the Twins game. Right? Because I spend $10 a beer at the Twins game and I had such a great time. That's science. Right? Run! Run! See you guys. Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that the earth is flat and not a ball like we were taught in school? Okay. Can I just encourage you to go home sometime and Google Flat Earth? Sure. Check it out. Sure. Have a great weekend. You too, thank Thanks. You. Yep. Do 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 do. Okay, it's getting a little blustery. It's always wind in Minnesota. I just it's always windy. It was really obnoxiously windy uh, earlier. My signage went all over the place. Let's give him one of these here. Uh, because I'm live on location, and it sounds like a first world problem if you're complaining about me being wireless live on YouTube and it's not 1080p 4K resolution. Give me a break. Seriously. Why is the resolution so crappy? Wow. I'm so used to looking at 4K. Oh, man. All right. Oh, I want 4K. 4K is the best resolution ever. All right, so thanks a lot, Plain Truth, Jose. Yeah, right, exactly. They give us 4K images of the Earth from space because that's real. Thanks, Karen B. Libertarian. 
Got a flat earth meetup in LA. Check it out this Sunday. Thanks, Warriors. Yeah, this was a really fun night. I really enjoyed my time today. Had a lot of really good conversations. <coughs> I'm gonna check, uh, I'm gonna get to my train here in a minute. But I just wanted to say everybody goodbye. And uh, I do plan on coming out tomorrow night. Tomorrow, uh, probably early afternoon, I plan on going to the Pioneer Press to do another cystic fibrosis uh, walk, if you will. My email is fullbatteryobsessed at gmail.com. Fullbatteryobsessed at gmail.com. Thanks everybody again for showing up. I'm going to sign off and catch my train, hopefully. And I will see you all tomorrow on Authentic Intent. Keep it flat. Thanks, Billy.